787. 787, departure for 25 will be 25-7, thanks. Alrighty, welcome back to Sci-Fi and Friends, episode number 52. In very strange times, seems like the whole world has just come to a halt. There was an awesome meme the other day that I saw <laughs> that was kind of like, um, this girl was confused whether she should be freaking out or relaxing in quarantine. And I feel that, I feel that same way, you know, right? I right. don't <laughs> like <laughs> everything shut down. There's the massive, uh, unemployment's going on, but at the same time, like I'm in my living room with my wife watching Netflix and it's kind of seems normal. Right. So I just kind of go through these crazy waves of emotion. Like what is going on? Right. Cause Back. everything outside the house is like, seems to be turning upside down, but yeah. then your world, your every day is, uh, just moving along pretty like much normal. normal. Right. Yeah, for sure. And I think it, I think another part of it's probably where we live. Like we're not New York. We're at on top of each other. So right. like we can right. still kind of, we social distance 24 seven. Every right, day, yeah, you know, like yeah. we, we it's, kinda, a, it's a country thing. Yeah, You're a right. Country boy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but you know, I went to Walmart uh, in this past week, and that was kind of the first time where I caught a little bit of like not panic, but I caught like a little whiff of something. You know, yeah, you can feel it in the exactly. Air. You, can, you can sense that for yeah. sure out there. Yep. Like yep. people were cordial. They were nice. Mm -hmm. They were they were polite. But at the same time, like. I could feel it and I know they could feel it. Like I could yeah, just kind of feel yeah. the tension was very, like it yeah. was there. It's, it's, it was eerie. Like when I, yeah. when I realized it, I was like, okay, this is, this is human nature. And mm. like, you can see also how, you know, in an instant that could change. It mm. can magnify or it could, you know, deescalate, right? right? Because right. of the severity of right. the situation. And right. so, yeah, it's, it was, it was eye-opening just yeah. to, to be out in, in, in it and then didn't realize it, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't really have that many updates because I've just been in quarantine like everybody else. Um, I guess I will say I'm going to be pumping these podcasts out. I'd like to keep making them. I know I got my guest today. Uh, I got Alex Hill coming on, Seth. There's quite a few people who are kind of in the midst of coming on, so hopefully we can create some content for you and give you something to do besides watch Tiger King for the fifth time, even though that show is awesome. <laughs> but so my guest today is a Brazilian uh, black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He has his own uh, gym on Main Street in Joplin called Mac Club. Uh, he is one hell of a guy, a uh, great leader and motivational uh, speaker in person. My guest today is Dave Lopez. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you having me on here, taking the time out of your Saturday, yeah. right, and having me here. Uh, I usually shy away, you know, because you you asked me to do this like a year and a half ago, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> I, you know, I, I do talk all the time, but right. I also like I don't try to put myself, you know, in front of crowds. I'm right. not a speaker, right? I, I do right. talk all the time, but I'm not a speaker you yeah. know and so it's like it was sure. this whole uh you know deal at the time i was mm. like yeah i don't think i just i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing you know mm -hmm. but uh you know i appreciate you and having me here and you know this is a platform just like anything else and so like i appreciate that fact and then um i just like i felt a little compelled to reach out to you, mm -hmm. you know, for this one, um, just because of the things that are going on right now. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. like, uh, you know, words they can they can build you up or they can tear you down, right? And we mm -hmm. all we all know that. I'm not saying anything new, right? Um, and so, hopefully, you know, my words will uh, and your words in this conversation and this podcast will fall on some ears and. Uh, Maybe ease their minds a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. because like there's a few subjects that I want to touch on, you know, and uh, these podcasts go, you know, they can go anywhere. But uh, like I have a few points I'd like to drive. And so mm -hmm. anyways, I would just uh, like to thank you for opening your doors and, and taking the time to do this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you've, you're I have two lists. I'm going to let this out. <laughs> I have two lists of, of podcast guests. I have like the list of peasants. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call them, and then I have a list. I ha it's literally titled "Legendary Guests," <laughs> like people who I'm like, man, if I could get them on, yeah. that'd be awesome. 
you're on the peasant list. Sorry. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> well, you're on the legendary list, I dude. I appreciate being there, right? Because we <laughs> must remain humble always. <laughs> right. No, no, you're on the legendary yeah, list. I'm like, if funny. I can get Dave Lopez, that would be so cool. So when you reached out and you're like, you know, I think we should do, you said you wanted to do a podcast or you wanted to touch on some topics of mental health. Sure. Which is super, yeah. super poignant at this point because of everything that's going on <clears throat> right. and all the normalcy in our life has been most of the normalcy has been wiped out. You know, we the jobs that right. we've been going to, the activities that we've done, the people that we have been seeing for years and years, months and months, are they're just gone. You know, yeah. so we have we have our home. Most of us have our home life or whatever, which has also changed. And we have like our content, whatever that's reading books or doing jujitsu by yourself or you know whatever it is you know that's yeah. kind of what we have left at this moment and sure. i th i would say most people are probably li i have been just been living day by day like okay tomorrow is march 97th we will wake up early did <laughs> yeah, you see that yeah. meme, dude? no i did not oh but that's God. funny <laughs> it said uh, there's a meme that said uh just in case if any of you forgot today is march 97th you're yeah. welcome <laughs> i know it felt like march took forever right dude, yeah yeah that's why living day by day it's like wow man Wow. Uh, yeah, man. For a lot of people, like, uh, their lives were flipped upside down, you know? Like, it was a complete 180, and, and what do you do? Like, what do you do? Mm, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like, what do you really do? You know, you can, uh, just like anything else in life, you can look at it in two different ways. Like, it's either a good thing or mm -hmm. it's a bad thing. And uh, You pull it with you. Yeah, sorry, yeah, man. It's still right. getting used to this yeah. podcast yeah. life. You see that grip? You know? That grip? Look at that grip. <laughs> It's like, not going nowhere I'm like, now. don't break that <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, just like with anything in life, right? You can you can look at it two ways. It's, mm -hmm. and, and it really is just that black and white, mm -hmm. you know? It's either a good thing or it's a bad thing, right? And it can be the same thing for two different people. And those two different people will take it two different ways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's all about perspective. And um, as long as you're like always trying your best to keep things in a positive perspective right mm -hmm. or look at try to find the positive no matter what mm -hmm. uh situation is presented to you then um you'll always find a solution yeah. right and it might not be the solution that you want that day or right. but it will eventually come right because of that mindset because of how you decided to approach the problem and deal with the problem because right. that's all it is like that's all it is life is <laughs> it's a consistent um it's a consistent uh display of problems in front of your face right and mm -hmm. and you can either adapt to that or you can allow those things to constantly drag you down right. you know what i mean and right, so it's right. like what do you choose to do how do you choose to look at it right because right, right. it's it's all solely on you it, it rests completely on your shoulders right a hundred percent you and there's no avoiding that like there's you can't sugarcoat that mm -hmm. right it's it's a uh, it's all about perspective mm -hmm. and 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 you right oh so yeah i like i like to think of things in in on those terms and then uh the more you do that like the more you realize that there are things you can control and there's the things that are that are out of your control and mm -hmm. You focus on the things that you can't control and, and you try to find the positives in all the things that you can't control and you know you can keep a sound direction like a a, a, a positive direction right in your life yeah. no matter what no matter what's going on all around you right and and if you you know force yourself to think that way then uh you're gonna the result will 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 be better than if you didn't oh right? absolutely you know what i mean oh, so yeah that's it's like what choice do you have right like okay maybe like you said maybe it's not the outcome that you wished for or wanted but what's the opposite like right. you just give up like right now you know like okay talking about people's lives have completely changed mm -hmm. i used to do this thing all the time mm -hmm. like every day and it yeah. just like bloop came to a stop yeah, right in a single day it came to a stop <laughs> crazy and so i'm like okay well I can let that affect me and I can let that just like, man, drag me down and weigh mm -hmm. me down. Or I can look at the positives in it, right? I can look at the, what am I gaining out of this situation? Mm -hmm. um, I get to spend more time with my family, right? It's 
that's awesome. Yeah. That's been that's been great, you know, taking a bike ride with my kids. Yeah. Or whatever, you know, and so that's good, you know, and so oh, yeah. I you can't you can't you can't assume that everything that you initially think is bad is bad. Right. right. And sometimes right. we get in that place where we assume that all these things are are just bad because yeah. you know, it, it it completely changed my life. Or maybe not, you know, yeah. maybe Maybe that was supposed to happen. You right. know, maybe that was supposed to happen to you. So that way you realize that uh, you should spend time with your family. Right. You know, right. I don't know. Yeah. It's like if you were, it's like if you're lifting weights and yeah. you had never lifted a weight in your life and you pick that weight up and you're like, oh, that burns. I'm not doing that. Right. right. <laughs> it's like, well, no, that's the whole point. There's, mm. It's supposed to hurt because after your muscles will repair themselves bigger and stronger and like you just keep going on that trajectory. Yeah. So if we... Yeah as humans we obviously we all animals uh have a pain avoidance type of behavior if it hurts we get the hell away if, it, right. if it's hot we get we get away you know yeah so a defense mechanism right it's, yeah absolutely a survival mechanism yes, right yes, yes but in a sense of human nature or human existence we put ourselves through certain pain i guess Di we call it discipline to achieve great things right you know like jujitsu is one that right. hurt jujitsu hurts yeah, you know, yeah. Li literal physical pain and mental pain right. and egotistical pain spiritual pain <laughs> <laughs> yeah no really yeah. though well i mean what are you doing like you're every day right in jujitsu that's one of the that's one of the things that's why i like jujitsu mm. so much because it's taught me so much more about life mm -hmm. than any other thing that i've ever done and a lot of the principles that i, I take from it i can apply to other places in my life oh, right yeah like what are you doing on the mats right you're mm -hmm. you're dragging yourself through adversity on a mm -hmm. daily basis mm -hmm. a lot of people can't do that like a lot of people can't handle that right you gotta you gotta you gotta develop a fortitude a mental fortitude mm -hmm. to continuously drag yourself through adversity right now if you're disciplined enough to do that on the other side you know you'll be like this you know, your, your mentality will be oh, uh, yeah. forged, right? You'll, oh. you'll be forged as you'll be stronger for it. You'll oh, be, yeah. you'll be better for you'll it. You'll have a skill, like an actual, like life skill. You won't, you won't give up so easy on yeah. certain things. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? And it's oh, just yeah. like, uh, so many of those principles I, I apply to life and, uh, like it, it it's helped me be able to view, right. Yeah. The things that are you would think are negative yeah you see them more in a positive light right because right. like okay in jiu-jitsu you're you're a, a hundred pound guy right mm -hmm. you're a hundred pound guy and now you got this 200 pound guy that's been training for a while mm -hmm. right he's mm -hmm. say he's a blue belt right 200 pound blue belt 100 pound 150 pound you know white belt coming in this blue belt's got some skill he's gonna like cover and just smash possibly this white belt into the mats, right? That white belt, what is what is what are his options, right? He he can accept the situation for mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. The guy knows more. He's bigger, right? Or he can give up, right? He can either choose to continue to pursue um, the possibility of of becoming better, mm -hmm. or he can give up, right? And a lot of times when things hurt. And they physically and mentally hurt you. A lot of times, human nature also has a has a deal where it, a mechanism where mm -hmm. it wants to, you know, it wants to self preserve. And so you're like, hey, what, why would I do that? Why would I continue putting myself through Absolutely. that? Right. And I feel like society, in a lot of ways, they do that a lot. Oh right? yeah. They, they they're not willing to make those sacrifices and put in that work to achieve the things that they mm -hmm. want. It's you know what I mean? Because it, because over here is easier. Oh right? yeah. This this lane is a heck of a lot easier oh, yeah. than like trying to. Man, that takes a lot of work. Yeah, That's the, you know that guy's always bruised up. He's sweating <laughs> like it's crazy. Why would anybody do that? Yeah. And it is a crazy thing. Like it's you know to think about, think about it. We 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 <laughs> yeah. go to this this padded room, right? We go to this padded room. <laughs> And we try to choke our friends. Yeah. Like, who does that, yeah. right? Like, yeah. who, who It sounds like that? a mental institution, a padded room. <laughs> like, yeah, they all gather in a padded room yeah. and they bow to each other. Right, yeah. <laughs> and then they try to kill each other. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, Crazy. Like, it's like the participation trophy mindset, you know? Like, yes. no, 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 don't feel bad for losing. Don't. Everyone's a winner. Yet, you yeah. know, yet the kids are keeping score. 
The kids always right. know what score it is. Yeah. You know, they're always yeah. like, no, we lost, Dad. We lost. I know we lost, and it sucks. It's a good thing, <clears> too. <throat> like, it's a good thing to know that. That's another thing I appreciate about it because, like, if you really want something and it's, if it's worth having, mm-hmm. right, there has to be sacrifice for it because if you don't sacrifice for something mm-hmm. that is worth having, is it that valuable anymore? Right. Right? If somebody gives you, like, I could I could be given a medal mm-hmm. or you can go buy a belt. Yeah. Right? Anybody yeah, can go online and you could buy a belt. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything, right? Because you didn't earn it. Like, you did not do the things necessary right. to achieve it or right. to, to obtain it, right? right? And so that's what gives it value, you know? Oh, absolutely. The sacrifice and the right. work and the dedication that comes before it, like that's what makes it, right? And oh, so, yeah. uh, and but also on the other side, right? Like if you don't achieve it, right? If you don't achieve those things, you got two decisions, right? You can either give up Right, you can quit, mm. or you can continue to work hard that mm-hmm. much harder and, mm-hmm. and, uh, to achieve your goals. You know, right. to to right. to to get to get what you want out right. of life. Yeah. Right, like that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It, it, the principles the principles in jujitsu apply to oh, almost yeah. anything in life, and you can you know if you see them, if you mm-hmm. look for them, mm-hmm. they're there. And yeah. that's one of the things that like keeps pulling me back because yeah. it's like this constant thing. It's this ever evolving uh, life training mm. that I do, right? And and like I, I do it, like I do it for selfish reasons, right? Like I do it for for myself, and mm-hmm. I love those things, and I love to do them. Mm-hmm. But man, anymore, like I love how I can benefit others through that, through that, oh, you yeah. know, through that channel, through those those means through that vehicle, right? right. Jiu-jitsu, I find, I, I find it more and more, it's, it's a vehicle and, and, and you can change lives through it. Right? Oh yeah. And, absolutely. and like, that's one of the main, now that's one of the main reasons, uh, that I do it because like, I like helping people, mm-hmm. right? I like, mm-hmm. I like helping people and it's, you can show somebody a move. You can show somebody how to choke somebody, right? Mm-hmm. But if you show somebody how to think differently, mm-hmm. how to deal with the problem in a different way, mm-hmm. well, that could last that person a lifetime, mm-hmm. right? You you feed a man a fish, you you feed him for the day, or you give a man a fish, you feed him for the day, you right. teach a man how to fish, and you feed him for life. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Not mine. It's not, you know. Did you come up with It's nothing that? new, right? There's <laughs> yeah. nothing new under the sun. Yeah. But. I bet that's actually pretty cool i've never thought about that because i'm not in the position you are but to like actually see someone come in as a white belt mentally and skill wise and then to see them kind of progress and change throughout their training and their like their mental their worldview starts to change because i remember one time i don't even know who i was rolling with probably uh probably troy who is a smasher (laughs) yeah 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 i remember like rolling with him and he was just smashing the heck out of me. And um, I think it was Casey who kind of, it might have been, I don't, I don't remember who exactly said this to me, but they said, hey, Colton, I think you give up too early. Like, I think you show your opponents that you are giving up. And I was like, yeah. oh shit, that's right. You know, that little piece of advice or that little observation just went straight across my entire life. So not only was I giving up too early, like where I'd be in a terrible position, I'm like, I'm about three seconds away from tapping. Right. They don't know that, but I'm letting yes. them, I'm letting them know. I looked at, you know, I looked at my writing and I was like, I'm about three seconds away from giving up on this writing. And I would, right? but I could, so that I would never push through and like get to that second or third or fourth tier idea where it's like, if I just keep moving my fingers, I'm going to break through this and I'm going to get right. that boost of of energy and I can accomplish this or whatever it was. I don't know. Cleaning the house. It just, like you said, it just, that mindset goes across your whole life. Right. And that was just one little lesson that I learned. So that's gotta be yeah. cool to see people come in. It is man. You know? it, it's, it's really cool. Like I appreciate all of it. And you know, the more I'm away from people, the more I reflect mm. on those things, you know? And so, yeah, I was hanging out uh, with some buddies yesterday and, and that kind of, Six feet apart. That came ago. Yep. Yep. Good. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were on our walkie talkies. <laughs> really? You. No. Oh. 
<laughs> but uh, you know, the same thing, kind of the same topic, kind of came up, and so you know, it's like it's like one of those things where he had a he had a uh, a question, and like I was able to respond from you know a jujitsu perspective sure. or or principle, right? Yeah. And I I I I told him I was like um, the place where you find yourself the most vulnerable, right? That's when you have to fight the hardest. That's when you have to put out the most effort, mm. right? Because if you don't, your opponent's going to think you're weak. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if you put that face on, right, fake it till you make it, right, then they don't know. And mm. then you can then you can push past that, that moment of despair, mm. and then you come out shining like a little diamond on mm. the other side, right? Mm -hmm. And the other people see that, and they see that, that you didn't give up and that mm. you gave your all and and what does that do what's that worth you know to a man to realize that and to be able to achieve that uh all the time in in different right. aspects of his life you right. know what i mean and so it's a it becomes a life skill at yeah. that point right and then you can start applying it to all sorts of things and it's uh you know that never give up mentality that's why that's why champions are champions because they don't they don't accept defeat like they never let defeat enter their heart mm. or or that give up mentality mm -hmm. and and they go through adversity and they have losses right and they but they accept them and they learn from them and it fuels it fuels them right mm. because they don't look at it as a bad thing the the people that quit are the ones that view it as a bad thing and mm -hmm. they don't learn from it and they shy away from it but mm. the people that are able to see it and appreciate it and and uh, learn from it. Well, those are the ones that'll use that and and get something out of it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Life's simple. It's just it, there's two th we you just know, two ways we can look it. at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you think like what's your take on you know doubling down on your strengths or developing your weaknesses, or do you find kind of you've kind of land in the middle somewhere where it's like work on your strengths, make sure your weaknesses aren't totally worthless. You know, some people will say, I'm good at Kimuras. That's all I'm going to do is Kimura from every right. position. Right. It works really well. But what happens when they start leg locking you? Because that's, maybe that's where you're weakest. Sure. Do you work on uh, that? And not, not just jujitsu, like right. life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, so, you know, we need, we need our weaknesses, right? You can't have light without darkness right and so you need those weaknesses you need them there to constantly remind you of the things you need to work on right and you can either look at them as things you need to work on or mm -hmm. you can be like man i don't ever want anybody to know that oh I yeah suck it like guilty <laughs> you know whatever softball yeah. like i played tried playing softball one time and like it was not good. Yeah. I could not hit that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like literally. I swung the bat and. Oh, this is a true story. Yeah, true story. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, I'm trying to think when it was. Several years ago. Anyways, mm -hmm. got up to the plate. You know, my family's like, Whoa, yeah. and I'm just like, yeah, let's do this thing. Did you, you point? know, because I'm Did like, no, I didn't point, but I'm like, all right, yeah, I, mean, I could, I, I do a lot of things good, so I'm gonna do this good, right? Swung. Went like a complete circle, like literally oh, a really? complete circle, and I'm like, ah, oh, that didn't go. Sandlot. Like I saw that going a different way in my mind, right? <laughs> it's like Sandlot stuff. But like, and so, you know, and that was, uh, I shied away after mm, that, you know, and so yeah. like, and I was that guy for that, you know, sport sure. or whatever, and yeah. and so like I said, we we do that in in a lot of areas in life, you oh, know, yeah. and so, but like I know. We know we we know we have weaknesses, right? Mm -hmm. I know I have weaknesses. We all everybody does. We're all we're all humans, right? And we you know, we all have the same needs, same desires and the same, you know, we all we're all different but we're the same. Yeah. Right? Right. So we all know that we have weaknesses and mm -hmm. we should um just appreciate them for what they are and not let them uh necessarily 100% like, you know, shape your thought process, mm -hmm. right? You can you can do a couple things about a weakness. You can you can either work on them, uh, or you can decide to let them be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, but it's all up to you. It's all 
in what you want to develop and how you want to develop yourself, Mm -hmm. right? And of course, like, we want to continuously just strive to be better at everything. Yeah. But realistically, like, we're only going to be so good at at certain things. And and I don't want to say, like, that is, we're, we're people, we have limitations, and on any one given thing, you know, we're, we're only going to be so good. Like you can, mm-hmm. you can achieve, uh, excellence, you know, at, at something, somebody else will only be at their best mediocre. Right. 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 And so just, like, right. That talent part, like sure. that guy's just got it. You right. Know, just something right. about that'll come into play. You know what right. I mean? And so now you can look at that as like that guy's weak or he's got that weakness. Right. Yeah. Or you could just be like, well, you know, it's, that's kind of how life is sometimes right it's just it it presents different people with certain abilities and gifts right and maybe it's not a weakness like maybe that's just my best is that's just going to be my best right you know what i mean and so it takes us right back to perspective it's all about perspective Mm -hmm. how you look at it you can look at your weakness as like a weakness or is this just like well that's the best i got and you can try to work on it but maybe that's it's only going to be so good right right and that's okay yeah right that's okay but it's all how you look at it, how all how you view your weakness, right? So. And like if you take that idea like to its to its far reaches, mm-hmm. you're know, like, what do you are you gonna do? You think like someday you're just gonna be like perfect in everything? Oh like, man, you know what I mean? I, like, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you probably will, but <laughs> man, shoot. but you know what I mean though? Like, so you have these weaknesses. We all do, like you said, we all do. You work on them the best you can, but like. Do you think like at some point you're gonna have everything check marked off? Like you got it all. Like you got it. You did it all. Oh, like no, man. of course not. No way. It's so, like you kind of have to accept that there's just gonna be areas where you fall short, and you just like you say, you do the best you can with what you have. That's all we can do. That's, That's all, all you can do. we can do. Right? right. That's all we can do as a human being. That's mm-hmm. all we can do. And and you know, as long as we understand that, right? Then we should. Mm-hmm. Then we'll always be able to, to have a, you know, uh, a positive perspective. Like that should give you hope to have positive perspective in life all the time. Because yeah. you can only do, you know, what you can do. You can only do your personal best. Right. 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 And so as long as you're always doing that and you're always striving to give your personal best. Then you're doing what you can do, right. right? And so you should. That should always like keep you, keep you on that, that northern compass. So yeah, you, yeah. you know what I mean. Like you're always tr- yep. shooting for just your personal best. Right. It makes me think too. This probably goes back to being a Homo sapien. It's like we're supposed to kind of be in groups, like tribes. And so it's right. like, say you are the best hunter of our tribe. I don't have to. And maybe I suck at hunting. Maybe right. I'm like loud and I smell and blah, 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 right? It's okay because you're way better at it than me. So you provide the meat, but maybe I'm like the best gardener and you can't keep a plant alive, whatever. So then we're like, well, like I have all the greens. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, I have all the red meat. And we make each other better. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then on that, you could scale that up to like where we are now societally. Like, I don't know how to make one of these (laughs) at all. Like I have no idea, but somebody does and somebody did. And I'm like benefiting from their hard work and their knowledge right? by being able to have this awesome microphone that captures my voice and goes out into lots of people's ears. Right. So yeah, that kind of expands. So it's, um, and I guess in that way you need to be humble in your weaknesses and just, and, and see, that's where it gets tough. Rely on other people. You're, right. We depend on other people, like, right. especially as men, we want to be self-sufficient. We want to be able to take care of our families and that's good. Right. And I think that's a good mindset to be and start at, but you can't do it all. Right. How you It's you okay got, to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Right? It's okay to be vulnerable. And uh but as long as you understand, you know, yeah. your vulnerability and you you acknowledge it and like, you know, and if you you try to work on it, you know, yeah. and you give that your personal best, right? right? You just give that that your best and that's all you can do, right? Yeah. That's all you can do and and you you can rely on others. It's okay to rely on others, you know, because if you do it on the, in the right way, you mm-hmm. know, <clears throat> like, so say if you like stole these microphones from that guy, you know, <laughs> like, man, you that's know? not like, you know, yeah. that's not like helping anything right, out. But right. if 
you know, if you paid the guy a fair price and like the whole thing went smooth and that's helping each other, Mm -hmm. right? Like you make coffee. I want to buy your coffee. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. so like now it's, it's, uh, you know, a harmonious, uh, friendship, like a harmonious exchange. Mm -hmm. Right. And there are a lot of those things out there, uh, you know, relationship wise with other people. Right. And, you know, it, you know, the, how you treat people, how you do things with other people, right? Right. Is is how or what kind of life you're going to have, right? Because mm-hmm. if you're coming running around treating everybody like crap, man, it's going to come back on oh, you. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so why wouldn't you just treat people good? Why wouldn't you try to have the best relationship right. with another person, right? Because we all have so many relationships. You right. know what I mean? Right. And so, but yeah, you know, with, we're... We're here to uh, help one another, and and it is it, it's. I think that's probably like one of the things that is causing the most problems with people right now is that we're so used to being interconnected mm. with each other. You know what I mean? And so you start taking that away, and it's like, okay, this is weird because you know we're we're used to like touching and Mm -hmm. hugging and and then it's like man you take that away you know it's like that sucks you know (laughs) oh yeah absolutely (laughs) but anyways you know yeah that's like the uh the philosophy behind fasting whether it's fasting from food or fasting like like, people do social media or whatever it shows you very quickly what controls you Mm -hmm. because like for i did the carnivore diet for 30 days and there were times where I'd be, you know, editing away and I'd be like, I need a little snack. So I'd go in there into the kitchen. I'd open the fridge. And I'm like, well, there's peanut butter. Like, well, I can't have any of this. And I'd go back down. And like 10 minutes later, I'd get back up and I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I see. I've uncovered a little habit loop, yeah, you know, like, yeah. of just munching on little sugary things. Can't do it, you know, because I'm going to stay disciplined. I'm going to eat my meat only. Right. And then towards the end of the 30 days, like that, I kind of eradicated that habit loop or whatever. Right. So in the very sen- very same sense we have all this connection, we have all this interaction and we just take it away. Suddenly we're seeing good things, bad things. We see, oh man, I was spending a lot of time at the bars. I probably, right. it was very fun, but you know, my bar tab was extremely high and my body is hurting because all the alcohol, like starts, now that I'm uh, yeah. not drinking and not going out and getting good rest, I feel a lot better. Right. I feel a lot better. Or the opposite of, wow, I really miss those guys. Right. I really right. miss that person. It, well, it just starts playing that, that psychological toll on mm-hmm. you, too. And you're like, you know, you're so used to doing one thing yep. one way. And and you start changing that up. And it's like, you know, you have to you have to yes dig deep inside yourself. And it's like, okay, you're either going to, you know, address the problem as far as, like, you know, your emotion towards that situation. Right. Or you're going to, like, revert back to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like you either identify it. Try to solve, you know, it in yourself, in your head, mm-hmm. or you just, you know, give in and you revert back to right. to doing it. So it's, yep. it's discipline, you know, just yep. like anything else, you, yeah. you know. Oh, and like habits, like habits are designed to not take up your brain capacity. Right. Right. So like when you first start jujitsu, as an example, everything, nothing is a habit. You know nothing. So for like a Kimura, you know, you, you're setting this move up and everything. You literally have to use your entire, I have to use my entire brain capacity right. every step of the way. But someone like you who's done it so long and has drilled that particular move so much, it's just habit. Right. So as, you, as you're as you going, you're like, oh, one, two, it's just one, two, three, four, four. Your habits, brain yeah, is, not think, is not like processing that. Right. So when you unplug society right. and all of our habits go out yeah. the door, that's why I think everyone's very tired it and very stressful. It starts playing because, a real huge psychological role yes. in your life, right? So now it's like you have got to look inside yourself for mm. these answers. And a lot of people, uh, like, they just don't know how to do that in the most healthy way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so it's just like... I do, I do that, right? And so, like, here's an example. I We all have habits, right, like you're talking about. Yeah. And so one day, I, like, I try to be cautious or, or, you know, in tune to, like, all the things that I do, right? Mm-hmm. And I try to do those things in the most efficient way I possibly can do them. And so, like, one day I realized that I was 
putting on my seat belt with my left hand like this, oh, okay. reaching back, right, uh -huh. reaching back, and then I would pull it across my body like this, sure. and like I had always done it that way, but I'm like, okay. That's not like the most efficient motion with my yeah. arm because I'm like a lot of times I'm like trying to reach back like this right. and hook it right, yeah, and, right and then I come across my body. <laughs> it's a lot more efficient to reach here and yeah. just to, sh you yeah, know, all the right. way across your body like this. And so I realized that. And then, but, uh, you know, and this was like maybe six months ago that <laughs> yeah. I'm doing this, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, I know the problem, I know the solution. I just got to do it. Mm. Right? And so I got to do it. And so, man, I'm at like, I don't know, 15% right now at like reaching with this uh -huh, hand because uh -huh. I've just done it for so long yeah. like this. And so it's just like with anything else yep. in life, right? You, Those things that you really want in life, uh -huh. like you got to be disciplined enough to try to do the things you have to do to obtain them. And so, man, I want, like I want to... You know, it's just something so simple, yeah. right? It's yeah. something so simple. Yeah. I just want to reach with my right hand and mm. pull that seat belt across here, click right. it in a hundred percent of the time, right. right? Because, you know, as you get older, you like, you want to try to preserve your joints and your body and stuff. And so yeah. like, I know that this is poor right. movement, right? right and right. so like, I'm trying to be better at that. And man, it's a challenge, you know, yeah. it's just a little challenge, but I like, I like those little things. And I like to look at, you know, things like that as, right. as more of a challenge and it. Man, but so many people will, will, would could view that same little situation as like this huge problem. Yeah, that's like right. oh my god, like I gotta like try to, I gotta try to. Are you telling me I have to reach with my right hand? <laughs> are you tell? And I've done it for so long this one way. And, no way, and I'm I not just, doing that. No, yeah, and then so they and then, but it's just a mentality, yeah. right? And so it's right. just with, just with anything. Yolo. Right? Yeah, it's just with just like with that little. It makes me think of uh, Toy Story 2. I'm familiar yeah. with Toy Story 2. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Remember yeah. when the guy's like, I got to drive all the way to work. I got to drive oh, all the way yes. to work. And he just Man, goes. Man, there's so many people <sighs> like that. He goes straight yeah. across the street. <laughs> <laughs> It cracks me up. It's like that's the whole mentality. Like, They're dude. Eeyores. Right? Yeah, exactly. You're every either a Tigger or an Eeyore. Like every situation is like either a Tigger or an mm -hmm. Eeyore. And mm -hmm. We both have both of those in us, you know, but right. like, you know. Try to be more like a Tigger, you know, like yeah. freaking you or suck. Yeah. That guy's always like, look at his house. Uh, yeah. You want to live in that? Like no one wants to live in the shack. <laughs> like you want to live in a nice house. Like yeah. you you don't want to <laughs> like walk around and just be, so what, how's your day? Oh, it sucks. <laughs> like you don't want to live in that. Maybe it does suck. But like, that's kind of what we were talking about earlier. Like if you just have these two choices, why would you, why would you not choose the one of being positive? Even if your life does suck. Right. Because if you just keep saying it sucks and it's raining, Dude, how's how it going to get better? People, how many it people in this world, right, have everything? A lot. Or look like they have everything that a person could possibly want or need or have right. in life, but are not happy people. Oh, a They lot. are just... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and their whole life, like, society has, you know, brainwashed them in a, in a sense to think that these are the things that you have to have in life mm. to be happy, right? Well, at the end of the day, like, a lot of those people that have all those things are not really happy, right? So what does that tell you? Well, maybe that's not what life is about. Absolutely. Maybe those are not the things that are really, truly important to right, us, right? right? Because... Man, I can tell you uh, a lot of people that don't really have much, you know what I mean? But, man, they are just content. They're good people. They're happy. They're a positive person in society. And, uh, like, man, why wouldn't you want to be around those people? Like, yeah. those those are the people. Oh, look, those are the people that I try to surround myself with. Yeah. Like, I, I have a lot of friends, right? And, like, my circle is small, right? My circle is small. But I have a lot of friends, and and in this small circle of friends, like they're just amazing human beings, yeah, like amazing right. human beings. And they're not, they're not rich. They're not like you know, they're they're talented people, mm. right? They're more of just a talented person and a like 
a person that's positive, a person that's actually like it's giving something, right? Like mm. I try to surround myself with people mm. that have something to say, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people in this world and so many people just spew garbage all the time. Like mm -hmm. you probably know some of these people and it, it's just because that's the person that they are, right? That's mm -hmm. the person that their life has, you know, drawn them to become or mm -hmm. created them, right? But th on the opposite side, there's so many people that have taken all those life experiences and, and has turned them into just a great person, mm -hmm. right? Those are the people I want in my circle. Those are the people that I want to be my friends. You know, like there's a saying, um, tell me who your friends are mm -hmm. and I will tell you who you are, right? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want to put yourself around those people, right? right. The, the the people that you want to be like, the people that, you know, are like-minded and have the same desires and have the same ambitions right. as you. Because, you know, if you want to go and be uh, good at soccer, yeah. right, you're not going to go try to hang out at the bar talking to a guy that knows somebody who plays soccer. Right. No, you're going to go to the fields and see what those guys do and right. try to befriend them and try to like see how right. they're becoming good at it. So right. likewise in my circle, like I try to keep those people that are good at, at life, right? Uh, they, they're trying life. to huh. be good at life, right? right? And <clears throat> the more I surround myself with those people, the more my mentality changes, right? Mm. My mentality changes about, dude, there's so many, um, there's so many like little experiences I could tell you just from casual text, like just a text mm -hmm. back and forth mm -hmm. with a couple of people about some of the things that are going on. You're just like, I never thought about it that way. Oh. And thank you. Yeah. In one little text, like you're just like, it, 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 it's, it kind of, it's kind of mind blowing how yeah. some people can just look at a situation and think about something positive. So like this whole, what's going on, right? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, right. The whole thing, the Chinese kung food, flu, the kung flu. I crack me up. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I don't mean it to be mean, but gosh, yeah. that's pretty funny. I mean, come yeah, on, that's you funny. Know, you gotta find humor and stuff yeah. like this. You know what I mean? Because right. we're human. Yeah, it's you have to. Yeah. I, I, I'd rather be around those guys that can find humor in situations like mm -hmm. this because mm -hmm. then you know, you know, you're amongst the right people. You know, because yeah. The other side of the, the coin is that guy that's just like spiraling into like his own personal depression. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. You don't want to be around that too much because then you you might he might suck you down there with him. You know. And Th that's right. That's kind of like um, when you save someone that's drowning. And you ever hear like I've obviously never saved anyone that's drowning, but they tell you to be right. extremely careful because they will drown you as well. Right. So they will say yes. the people that are saving them. Have you ever heard like their dialogue? No. This is about to get rated R. All right. They, they, so like, say I'm a military person like in Katrina and we're going down there and someone's like drowning. Mm -hmm. They will say, listen here, motherfucker. And then you go, the drowning person's like, Oh God. Right. You will not fucking touch me. You will let me come over there and I will fucking grab you. Like they are explicit. Right. So that they catch the attention they then they go through their because process. the person is panicking exactly. and a panicking person is dangerous right it, it's right yeah. right and so you are going over there to save that person but if they're panicking and they're not really uh, aware of what's going on you're they're going to kill you both right you know? and yep, so not absolutely. only are we lose one life we lose two lives so yeah. it's kind of the similar situation of like you see someone that's depressed or they have that kind of mindset like you you kind of have to be careful about how you go about helping them, yeah. especially yep. if they don't want to be helped. Then it's very very difficult, yeah. you know. Yeah, you can't really yeah. Do there's much. you can only do so much with mm -hmm. anybody, you know. Like you can lead a horse to a uh, water, you know, but you can't make him drink, right? Exactly. You yeah. cannot because right. it's a big old horse, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even trying to argue with a horse. I, I you didn't know? think about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a huge animal. <laughs> yeah, it's a horse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and a lot of times. Um, when you approach that sort of situation where you're wanting to, you, you, you see someone that might need help or you know someone that might need help, uh, a lot of times behavior or action is, is more powerful than words, you know? Right. So if, so for you, for example, if you continue to, 
practice jujitsu every day and you hone your craft in like you've done now your belt is black like that's a sig- like a signaler of like this is my sacrifice that's around my waist and everyone's like oh shit like if you know if you know sure. you know you know mm-hmm. um so then someone that's coming in all the time and say for example they're getting they're getting beat all the time and they're they're getting down on themselves like i can't get this move i've been working on you can be like i was the same place i was the same place you were yep. or or are and i just kept doing it I, or i did these things i continued to show up i continued to practice and now i'm here and i i have a black belt and i and i know the move and my mind is f- fortified because i was able to push through because that. that was because i failed yeah right because i failed and i accepted failure and i learned from failure and i grew from failure right, right. and so that's where the sacrifice comes in like mm-hmm. if you if you if you look at it that way and you know you you understand and appreciate it for what it is yeah it's not a bad thing you know what i mean right. like it's it's really it, it really feels is bad a good thing. sure it yeah because because yeah. it goes it's like pulls the pulls the rug and it's like nope you didn't Dude, this is jiu-jitsu not where you really were has a like 99 percent or 90 percent turnover rate i don't know it's something oh, crazy it. it's yeah. crazy you I know and it. and it's because uh you know when dragged when drugged through adversity uh you know people don't take the time to invest in themselves to fortify their mind and their body to do something hard mm. uh, to come out a better person on the other side. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants the easy road. And so, mm. and that's one of the things I like about it is that, you know, the mats don't lie. Like yeah. you either put in the time or you don't. And that's fine either way, right? Because people come through the doors all the time mm. and 90% of them, don't hang out. I wish they would. I because sure. I know it's good for everyone. You know, because yeah. I know all the benefits it's done for me and like all of my friends. And I know that so many people that have benefited from that concept. Right. Oh yeah. It's just a concept. And uh, but people, you know, they don't. They yeah. don't take the time to to do what they need to do. Right. Right. And just so just like anything else in life, you know that, uh, you know, just like the guy that's spiraling out of control right he's going down this like a lot of people are i'm sure right now Mm -hmm. in their houses they're just like i i found myself pacing Mm. the floors in my house before i went to work and i'm like okay you know something i always told myself you know and i try to always tell myself there's there's nothing is a, a there's there's not a problem until there's a problem, huh. right? There's there's not really a problem until there's a problem. So anything you look at in life, like I said, life is just a continuous problems being presented to you. But none of it is really that bad. There's going to be a life after this, I promise you. Like there's going to be life on the other side of this coronavirus, mm. you know? What that is, is based on your mentality, your mental fortitude right now in these times on how you're going to push through it, right? Mm. Because we're all given the same, the same life. We all have the same life. We're all alive right now on this planet. What you choose to do with it is completely on you. So like you can go spiraling out of control, right? Or you can look at all this as something that's positive. I'd rather look at it as something that's positive even though it's like a crazy situation right like it's wild unprecedented it's wild, like bro. it's the craziest thing i've ever seen in my lifetime dude wow and but there's gonna be life on the other side of it right i know that if 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 i choose to succumb to like a lot of these thoughts that I'm having, to right. even, right? Because we're all human. We all have the same thoughts. We all have the same needs, wants, desires. If I choose to succumb to, like, some of that negativity mm. that I'm thinking, mm-hmm. man, that can take me down, right? Oh, absolutely. And so it's all about perspective. It's all about you and how you choose to deal mm. with the situation, the problem mm-hmm. at hand, right? And so, like, right now, just an analogy. Mm-hmm. 
we're that hundred pound white belt who's got a 200 pound blue belt on top of him trying to choke the ever loving out of you right what are you gonna do you're fighting for your life mm. what are you gonna do are you gonna lay there and let that happen to you or are you gonna fight and do the things you need to do to get out move on mm -hmm. right and that's where we're at right right we got to do the things that we got to do yep. in life right now to to get through this to that life on the other side and yeah. it's there like um, you know life right. will get back to normal at right. some point i believe that uh but it's all about how you look at it you right. know what i mean so that's and that's one of the things i think that's that's missing uh, -huh. uh in society are those are those skill sets like joe mm -hmm. rogan talks about it like mm -hmm. you know he talks about how we should be teaching our children how to deal with life with mm -hmm. stresses with mm -hmm. problems and not let every little thing every little negative little thing send us spiraling in, out of control into mm -hmm. these emotional you know what i mean it's it's something we should learn how to channel right right we should learn how to channel our emotions our emotions are right tricky and they you know oh, they're, they're powerful. deceitful and powerful and if you learn to control those things mm -hmm. then you know you can always look at life with a positive angle mm -hmm. and maybe help some people on the way and help them mm. change their minds to, to think you know yeah. down those same same guidelines right. road whatever and the analogy <clears throat> that you used like if you like i've been there i've been yeah the guy getting smashed <laughs> you don't just and you're a 200 pound <laughs> yeah <you know. laughs> well i've gotten smashed <laughs> a lot but like it, when you're in that position and you're fretting for like you're like you know you're you're going up to like let it go and get out of that position the the first you don't even just like you don't just start flailing and like oh you see an arm you don't just grab the arm like i think the first step in that position is like you just you kind of you bring it all you like you bring it all together and you're like you you assess where where am i what's going on where's this pressure what's this guy going for for this is jujitsu analogy right say he's going for the neck it's like well well forget my legs i don't care. i'm not worried about my legs right now i'm worried about my neck right you assess this and then you start to take like you said you take the necessary steps what's step one neck okay tuck the chin step two let's grab the thing that's trying to okay step three let's maybe we roll or you know whatever yeah. you got to do like you don't just start spazzing like you have to assess, assess the situation choose your route of action and start to Right. implement it slowly because you're, you're, you're in a dangerous yeah. spot yeah you're assessing the problem mm -hmm. and you're you're taking the steps that you need to take right. right to to get out and you're not you're not that guy that's spiraling out of control and going yep. into depression right you're you're like okay this is a huge problem yes and there's a solution right, right? i just gotta take the proper steps right and then yes then you're on the other side where you're smarter for it. You're yep. stronger for it. Yeah. You're you're more disciplined now. Right. And, you know, it, it, it created a better version of yourself. Right. You know what I mean? So if you are spiraling and you're beginning to notice that, like the first thing would be to bring it all together. So you'd say, all right, wait, 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 wait. I am spiraling. Let's just, let, maybe, maybe I should problem? just physically sit down. Like, I'll sit down. Okay. Let's pretend like, okay, I lost my job. Okay, that's, we'll set that there. Right. Okay. I haven't seen any of my buddies for a while. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. So you kind of like put all these, all the players on the table and you can, you can kind of look at them and then you can start to, okay, let's tackle this problem, my job. I have some skills, let's say like, maybe I can go help my neighbor and my neighbor still has his job. You know, like you can begin to break down the problem and take action. Right. And then once you're like, I think I got the job thing figured out, you know, that's, we'll let that, we'll let that start to play out. Now my buddies, okay, I miss them. I could give them a call. Like maybe I'll call one friend tonight mm -hmm. and see if they can talk. You know what I mean? Yep. And after you've got it kind of settled, you can begin to take your action and that's when the spiraling will stop and you can yeah. start to come out of it. Because you, know? you understand that like all those things are constantly, they're just a constant, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so like, you know, yeah, like you said, you got seven are. things here on a table, right? And mm -hmm. you're like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to focus on this. Yep. Boom, I think I got that good. Focus on this. Mm -hmm. I think I got that good. Uh, I'm over here, you know, mm -hmm. now, 
Oh, I'm having some more problems over here. I got to come back over here and <laughs> yeah. fix all these. And then still, meantime, I'm having dealt with these, you know, sure. I'm like, and then so sometimes it, you know, you can, yeah. it can be too much. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. so, absolutely. but as long as you kind of keep that, uh, nothing's really a problem. Yeah. There's, there's not really a problem until there's a problem. Sure. You know, mentality, then, you know, you'll always tr- strive to mm. look for a solution right. and no matter what it is and like i said the only the only constant in life is change that is the only constant in life mm-hmm. is change mm-hmm. and so if you understand that if you come to terms with it if you are like okay so you know that no matter what you do there's mm-hmm. always going to be something there's always going to be a new problem here 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 mm-hmm. But it's all something you can manage. Like it's 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 it will never be too much. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can always overcome. You right. can always overcome almost any challenge in your life. Right. If you apply yourself to it, right? If you if you look at it on those terms, like I can do that. I can yeah. do that. Right. Or I can get my buddy who knows how to do that. Do yeah. that for me. Right. Yep. Yeah. Right. And 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 so then we're you're still working towards mm-hmm. your goals and you still have your your positive outlook. You just you have to adapt. You have to change. You have to yeah. reinvent yourself yep. sometimes. And, you know, I know a lot of people right now are probably going to have yep. to do that. You know what yeah. I mean? Because, like, how many jobs were chopped? And so now you got to do something else. Like, I was speaking to somebody yesterday was doing something for so long. And now they, he j- had to completely do something different out of mm-hmm. necessity. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. And so his life was flipped, you know, a little bit. And. But he's still just trucking along, right? And mm-hmm. he's still, he's just doing the things he has to do and keeping a positive outlook. And yeah. like I said, that's all we can do, you know? Right. That's all yeah. we can do. Just, yeah. I think it's super important. You know, we're, we're using the analogy of like, it's in front of us. I, it's not always in front of us. Like sometimes it's, it's like in the, it's like back behind you, whatever this problem is. And it's like, and you're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so like, I encourage people like meditation is my, that's how I can kind of like bring things together. And I can kind of like look at them. And then I, a lot of times I have to force myself to look at a problem, you know, a low level problem that I force myself to look at as like a dirty room, you know, mm. you're like, man, that room is dirty. I need to clean it, you know, or I could just be like, it's fine. Nothing, no problem there, you know, <laughs> but if I force myself and I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Here's the solution. I probably should do that. But just getting them, getting the, your worldview kind of in a perceptible or perceivable view is mm-hmm. a really good step yeah. because sometimes it's sometimes maybe it's like, man, maybe you're spiraling into depression and, and the dark place. And then you kind of assess it and you're like, Whoa, this fear is, this fear is fear based on what if things get really, really bad. Right. Okay. Viable fear. Play with it for a little bit. Don't let it consume you though. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll put that over there. Like, keep it we'll keep it in sight you know, yeah. <laughs> as men we'll keep it in sight but we're yeah. not going to like consume ourselves with it because then all the other things you need to deal with they don't they get neglected right so now your wife's like hey, i'm still here you know and then you know your house and and you're over here in a corner just thinking about fear exactly you know I mean? you're consumed and, by it. yeah 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 we, yeah, we got to be careful you know about the things that we let consume us like yeah. you're talking about for sure and fear man that's a especially right now like that's sure. one of the yeah man it's it's one of the catalysts of this whole thing, you know, sure. like it's just, uh, it's consumed a lot of people mm-hmm. and just the toilet paper incident. That yeah, was all that's evidence right there. of that right there. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, rush out and grab everything you can because it's doom, yeah. you know, and, and the people and you that don't need know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And you don't know who you're hurting along the way, but exactly. it's like, it's one of those, it's a knee jerk, natural human instinct. Right. Sure. And we're, we're, we're all just human. We want to survive. And so like, you get it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But uh, at least, you know, we're identifying it. We mm-hmm. know that that's there. And so we know that we can learn from it. We can yeah. become better people Absolutely. by just acknowledging it, you know, and what we choose to do after that, like, yeah. that's on you, you know, but uh, at least you you recognize it, you know, and, right. and you're better for it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> The whole toilet paper thing is comical. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, it's kind of like, okay, wish we wouldn't have done that. You know, yeah. like we'll put that in the pile of messed up. But at least it was toilet paper. Right. And not like 
not like rioting in the streets or something or some sort of thing that really did cause a lot of damage to people. Right. It was just right. like, okay, we ran out of toilet paper. Okay, whatever. And like you said, we can we can assess from that. We can move forward and say, and obviously, thank God that the COVID-19 corona thing is as deadly as it is. It's kind of weird to say that, but at least it's not like Ebola, which was like 99% death rate. You know what I mean? Right. That would be a real chore to deal with. But this one, it's a negotiable, you know, you got to make sure you're healthy and, you know, try to keep your distance or whatever. You know, we got our rules in place. And like you said, we're going to make, we'll make it through. We'll get back to normal life. But it is a great test run for what could be and what will be at some point along on a long enough timeline. Right. You know? Right. So let's, let's take, let's learn these lessons Let's, you know, like you said, keep our local uh, relationships strong. Let's keep our skills levels up. Like, what do you have that you can offer? What do they have that they can offer? Let's right. help each other. Let's be aware. It's almost bringing, like, you're talking about, like, that tribe mentality back to America. Yeah. And I, I, I think it's a, like, it's pretty, you know, this whole thing, like, you could look at it as, like, a problem, right? And, mm-hmm. and sure. A lot of bad things happen and stuff, but man, how much good is really coming out? Like also yeah. at the same time, right? Like we were talking earlier yeah. about the the vaccinations, right? We were like oh, vulnerable right. to China, and yeah. then so we should be making it here, right? We mm-hmm. should be like having more control mm-hmm. of, of our societal, you know, our society, mm-hmm. and and looking out for our own and and doing the things that we need to do mm-hmm. for us, and not like not in a selfish way, but like just in a in a like a, a prosperous way, helping mm-hmm. out your your fellow man type of a way, you know yeah. what I mean? And so, just like tribes do, you yeah. know what I mean? Like you're mm-hmm. helping your buddy raise his son, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because because yeah, yeah. you have the better skill set to help him right. with you know bow hunting, and, and this guy helps can be a you know better helping him with with fishing. Yeah. Why are we not doing that here in the U.S. Right. with with our own people? You yeah. know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's you know, one of those things that's lacking, but it's just, you know, greed and and all these other things, man. When that comes into play, it just mm-hmm. it turns society into what it is, you yeah. know. And it's, yeah. you know, and in a lot of ways, it's just pretty crappy. Yeah. Know? But yeah, we know that we identify it, we see it, and we yeah, we needed to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every day with all those people, they're like, they don't care, they just want to. Get all the toilet paper for themselves, <laughs> Karen. And then Grandma over there, like, she what's she gonna wipe? She's with? having a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's sad too. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know, and then I don't, there's like two routes I want to go down. You can't, like, I can't worry about your greed, right? I, I don't think, like, I can't be like, Dave's very greedy. So right. it's a problem. It might be a problem, but like, what am I gonna do about it? I think. In that sense, we just have to worry about ourselves, like worry about my greed. What am I, what are my, what's my greediness inside? Like I need to deal with it here first. There's the things you can control, yeah. the things you can't control, right? Right. And so like, I can't control how you are as a person. I can yeah. try to help yes, you. you. Can. I can try to help you. You, can you control know? Like me. I could just. You've controlled me a lot. You've controlled <laughs> me so much that I've almost passed out. Uh, Good times, <laughs> good times, and it goes back to like, man, you guys are. What do you guys do? Why do you do that? You're crazy. Oh uh, yeah, you have me up a couple times. <laughs> like, what is going on? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, and so if you take that mentality of I'm just going to focus on myself or what I can control is here, and then you say, and then you pretend like everybody does it, then the problem got solved. You know, I guess there are times where maybe we need to like stand up against tyranny and stuff of, of a corporation or something you know you can't just like don't worry about them we just need to worry about ourselves you know yeah, there are those we, moments too I we're guess. definitely not going to solve all the world's problems on this podcast yeah. like i yes, think we, we could you know we'll like just, you and i if we teamed up as a right, team like right. i think we could <laughs> make more <but> coffee <laughs> yeah everyone would definitely have the best coffee i'll yeah, tell you that right? yeah absolutely yeah. if you drink Good this stuff. coffee you will Good solve stuff. the world's problems What's the name of that coffee? What's that coffee called right there? Rendezvous. Rendezvous. That's your coffee, That's the right? Coffee Rendezvous. Mm-hmm. It's French. I'm gonna be needing Rendezvous coffee, and yeah. you will too. That's that's the Honduras blend or the Honduras roast. I mean, not single origin. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff, man. Yeah, man. Good quality. That's why I appreciate hanging around people like you, because you know you go through those lengths to 
to get quality you know mm. what i mean that's what we we should all be doing that mm. right just wanting that you know wanting the best doing our best right. striving to become our personal best yeah. you know what i mean right those are the people i want around me it's like a respect for the art whatever it is you know yep like if you if you just want to get through it and like just just give me my purple belt i'm yeah. you know it's yeah. like well, you're not even really respecting the art or let alone anybody that came before you. What are you really you. achieving, right? I mean, if you do go down that road and you get it that way, it's like, do you really deserve it? Did yeah. you really earn it? Right. Are you just are you lying to yourself? Because we do that all the time. We lie to ourselves all the time, you know. And mm. so you can go down that road too. Mm-hmm. And but what did you accomplish? Mm-hmm. You know, like what did you really accomplish? You got a cool belt. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. No. I've been thinking about that a lot. Is like we construct our realities, each one of us, like your reality, you got yours, I got mine. And when we interact, we kind of, we take ours and we kind of compare them. And sometimes they might be like lopsided and we're like, no, we disagree. Like that's not right. Or, or, uh, whatever. I think jujitsu in particular just shatters it, <laughs> just shatters it. Because when I first to go back to a jujitsu analogy, my first day, first time rolling, if you take that moment and you reverse all of time before I walked into your gym, I would walk into a Walmart and be like, I could take that guy. Sure. I'd beat yep. his ass, you know. I rolled with Jeremiah one time and I remember driving home like just like kind of kind of sick and confused, you know, just not with it. Right. Because my whole entire reality was I thought it was this, but it was really this. And so now I'm putting things back into place like well, yeah, that guy at Walmart, he would have beat my ass. Or no telling what would have happened to the guy at the bar. You know? Jeremiah Ock. And let's just uh, go further and say that this guy, right, this guy is a 160-pound guy. Yeah. Right? And Colton I had, we have it on film. 220, right? Yeah, we have Two, it on film, big, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, But, yeah, it's like you need moments like that because the mm. moments like that are what, what, what bring you back to reality, right? Because right. you can – we can we can go on the rest. I could go thinking like I could lie to myself yeah. and say I'm really good at softball. But <laughs> the fact of the matter is, <laughs> is like, sound like it. <laughs> man, I'm not. You know, right. and, and and but it's all about how I look at it. Like I can think I'm good, you mm-hmm. know, and I can convince myself even. Right? Yeah. I can even convince myself right. that. But what am I really achieving? You know, like what, what good are you, is it doing? Yeah, what are you? You're not. You're not really doing right. any good. So it's. It's good to hear you say that because, like, that was just one of those lessons for you, you know. Yeah. And and you were, yeah. like, you took the time to to analyze it and to appreciate it for what it was, and then you're you, and then you came back, right? And then yeah. you came back because you're like, man, there's something to that, mm-hmm. and like, I I could either let this defeat me mm. or. I can let this make me stronger and you chose to come back and like face it and and make yourself stronger for it. You know what I mean? Well, uh, yeah, really what it was was, so I had this idea of who I was or who I thought I was and then it went poof (laughs) in one moment, like poof, there it goes. And then as I'm thinking about like, I'm like, well, that wasn't me. I wasn't the badass (laughs) that I thought I was, but I want to be. Right. And I guess the way to get there would be to keep doing this. And if I keep doing this, after a while, maybe my reality will shift back to where I thought I was. And, and then, I, then I'll really be there, you know? Right. And it goes back to you take that lesson and you can apply it to everywhere, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. nah, my marriage is fine. Right. Maybe not, you know, maybe yeah, not. Yeah. Or th- this, the whole corona thing, like, I'm fine. My mental health's very strong. I'm good. So many people. Maybe not. Maybe how many let's people... take this. <laughs> say that too right because we lie to ourselves all the time all the time and like yeah one of the things i've noticed a lot is like you know we we don't we don't want to show vulnerability Mm -hmm. you know what i mean as people as human beings we don't want to show our vulnerabilities and so we we put on that face right we're like oh yeah everything's fine Mm. but is everything really fine like you know what i mean and 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 you don't really know that until you know you get to know somebody or or you realize it, you know, mm-hmm. about somebody else. And, yeah, it's just, it's funny that way. You know how you can go through life and, and meet so many people and they'll yeah. just, like, put on that front. Yeah. And then eventually you, like, you could see through it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, right. that guy, he's just, like, exactly. you know. 
It makes he's me... not. He's not. He's not a jujitsu purple belt, man. I can see. Oh that, right. Man. Like he's just. Where'd you buy your belt, bro? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But right. in anything in sure, life, like absolutely, it's, you can you can yes, you can go through life lying to yourself and. It's, it's funny. you if you lie to yourself like so. This have you read Jordan Peterson's book? Twelve. Man, I wish I was like a reader, but like I'm have a you fan. Have you listened to it? I'm a fan. I didn't go through his audio book, no, but I I, I listened to his excerpts and his sure. his his videos and stuff, and I'm a fan. Yeah. Well, there's one rule in his book, Twelve Steps or Twelve mm-hmm. Rules, mm-hmm. Twelve Steps, Twelve Rules to Life. Yep. yep, yep. Called, um, tell the truth or at least don't lie. And that yeah. is incredible because yep. he yep. goes on to say like, well, who really knows what the truth is, but we all know what a lie is. Right. So in that sense, you can take that mentality and apply it to your whole life as far as, you know, you're asking yourself like, are you okay? Like, well, no, I'm not. I need, I need to talk to somebody like, that's okay. It's okay. Yep. Talk to somebody, you know, yep. and maybe say like, Hey man, I'm not really doing good with this. Like there have been times personally for me in the last two weeks where I'll just be maybe washing dishes or taking a walk out in my yard. And I kind of freak out a little bit of like, whoa, this went south so quick. And I've thought about it before. I've been like, man, our society, it's so, it's so weak and frail. Like it could go down at any time and I'll be ready. And then it did. And I was like, well, I even knew that this could happen. And it still, it still kicked me in the nuts. Right. And I was like, whoa, right. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've been saying it for years. It's like, we're, uh, we're, like so many years overdue oh. for a pandemic, right? Because oh, really? at that, you know, up until like we've had a couple of little, you know, the Ebola and yeah. the you SARS, know, SARS and right? Bird flu. Right. And, and, and but they weren't like uh, to the magnitude of an actual pandemic, right? right? And so, and I'm like, yeah, you know, and I, I tell people, like, yeah, we're like 30 years overdue or have since the last one, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? And, and then, but, you know those 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 things are a possibility. You know they can yeah. happen, right? Because they've happened before, and you you, you talk about it and you speak freely about yeah. them. But until they happen and like it's your reality, yes. you're like, oh, it just brings on this yes. whole new perspective. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's like, okay, maybe I wasn't as prepared. Like I thought I was prepared oh, for yeah. you know because I even said like we're like with confidence I was I telling know. people we're like overdue I for a pandemic. What do you, don't you guys know that you know and right. And then it's happening and you're like, man, like I was a couple different days. I was literally like, I woke up, was watching the news and I had to pace like back and forth yeah. in my living room. Cause I'm just like going over scenarios and yeah. like, what is really happening? And, and I had to like control that, you know, oh, like yeah. I had to try to like come to terms with what was going on and I had to look into myself and mm-hmm. okay, you mm-hmm. know, like there's not really a problem until there's a problem Mm -hmm. and okay you know like you know it's not that bad just let's go to work right relax you know right there'll be the uh, a solution will present itself right and then there'll be life on the other side you know to whatever degree that is right for for any of us or or maybe just everybody else right Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. you know you can't you can't live life in fear right mm-hmm. you cannot live life in fear mm. right what's worth what's no. worse than death living your whole life in fear you know what i mean like <laughs> you die once yeah so like, why would you do that why would you succumb to that why would you let that let that drag you into that downward spiral mm. right why wouldn't you rather just acknowledge that it's there mm-hmm. deal with it and then uh you know try to look at some of the positives. What's the mm-hmm. what's some of the positives? Well, man, this whole country is united like I've never seen before. Absolutely, you know? it's it's amazing how so many companies are are stepping up, yeah. wanting to do like nobody's asking them. They're yeah. they're wanting to contribute to society. They're right. wanting to do something good for their fellow man. You know, yeah. like I say this all the time. I believe personally that there is more good in this world than bad. Yeah. And man, there's so much bad out there too, but mm. I believe there is more good than mm. that. And we're seeing it, right? Like who knows? There could have been a, a whole theory plot behind the release of this thing and What? Yeah, I know, right? It could be like who knows? That, the, the boogeyman could have actually Jason went to China. 
boogeyman went to China and did this. Jason right? sent that video to you, didn't you? <laughs> Dude, that guy's funny. I want. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to get into that guy, but he like, oh, you should. Him all the time. <laughs> Jay- Jason is the guy who I think of is like, this really came from China. They they made this they in a lab. This to us. Yeah. Yeah. Know, they that. put it. That little Chinese brought it here. He I saw be, him. He would, I, I saw him at Walmart one time. <laughs> I was Jason there. would be that guy. <laughs> that would be that. Guy. Dude, I, I, but I'm kind of like that too. And so like, oh, you, I you consider know, it. I'm like, oh, maybe so. You, you just you know you gotta take things for what they are and 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 not you know we can go outlandish. On anything, right? In any direction. Well, humans so, love to connect dots. Yeah. And if we connect the dots and it makes sense, we're like, well, it must be true. And yeah. it's just like, well, not not really. It could right. be, but yeah. probably not. I'm like, I hope not. Man, how many things, though, like uh, you think or people thought were outlandish, right? Oh, like yeah. this, man, that's crazy talk. What are you talking about? And they look at you like you're crazy and mm-hmm. they're like, Two that years happens. down the road, it's a reality. You know what I mean? Like, That's... it's something that actually came to pass. Oh, yeah. And you're like... Mm. Like, oh, they're going to shut down the whole United States? The whole world. Oh, man. Yeah. No, yeah, right. January 1, if you just said this was going to go down in March, I'd be like, man, shut up. What are you talking yeah. about? Jason, get out of here, <laughs> Jason, with all that they're gonna nonsense. they shut it down. I swear to God, they shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude... Let's just roll. We'll be good, you know. Uh, yeah. But no, it's true. It, and that kind of goes back to the uh, what you were talking about, the pandemic. Like, hey, you know, to have a pandemic, it doesn't take that much. Like, you just, a couple of key things have to happen, and that sucker can get around the world very quickly. Right. What, you know, it's almost surprising that it didn't happen sooner. You're like, oh, well, how did this not happen quicker? That is with everything, you know. I'm thinking, like, um, I think about, you know, if I'm in a... If I'm in a war zone or something, or if I'm in a firefight, like uh, I know what to do. I'll hold my gun and I will get get behind. You know, all my police friends are laughing at me right now. I will get behind a barrier and I will shoot at the enemy. If I was really in a, and I think like, yeah, that's how it would happen. And then it really happens. And that first boom goes off. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, right. like I'm shaking. I'm like, this is really happening. That's what this pandemic feels like. Right. I knew yeah, that yep. this could happen. I knew the. I get the whole math that gets us there. I understand, but then it happens, and it's just it's so much more poignant when it actually happens than when it's in your mind when you are picturing it. And you're like, "This is what I would probably do." And then it happens. Right. And you're like, "Whoa, I was very far off." It goes back to the whole reality. We think we were this, and then really the pandemic's like. Nope. This is yep. what you're really yep. like. This is who you are, right? Yeah. This is, this is. But then it comes back to what you were saying. It's like, that's the choice you get to make. Yep. So either you get to make the choice of fear of like, this is who I really am. We're a bunch of fear. We're a bunch of apes that are very scared and we want to survive and protect our families. And you are that. But mm-hmm. you also are a person that can take a breath, assess the situation. This person looks like they need help. I'm a able-bodied human. Can I help you? How can I help you? Do you need, I can go get groceries. I'll go get groceries. You're an older person. You're, I'll get your groceries for you. Like, right. you know, the, sure. And that's, like you said, that's what's happening. We're coming to, a lot of us are coming together and helping one yeah. another. Yeah. Which it's is really awesome. It's, yeah. it's cool to see. Like, I, I appreciate stuff like that. You know, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's really a, an amazing thing. Mm-hmm. And if we can all just do a little bit of that sort of thing yeah. for another person, man. So, like, um, a week ago, I was out buying some rice, right? Uh-huh. I told a couple buddies at work this, and uh, uh, they made fun of me because my wife is Asian. I'm like, you're buying rice? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, buying right. some rice. Yeah. Right? I got a good do idea. Because she's got knives and stuff. So I need to go <laughs> and get this rice. And so I did. And uh, anyways, I was passing this Walgreens and about a week ago. And so like a lot of this was still fresh, you yeah. know, and, right. and people were doing what they do and they panic and they go out and buy and yep. you know mm-hmm. and so i was passing this walgreens and there was this kid right like a young man early 20s whatever and he was pacing like as i'm turning this corner uh i was looking at the in the parking lot i saw him right and so he was going from one end of the sidewalk right there in front mm-hmm. of walgreens to the other Right, one end to the other, and it was like it was pretty fast paced. Mm-hmm. I noticed him, and 
when he got to each one of the two ends, like he was literally had his hands on his head like mm. this. And then when he went to the other side, he was like, mm. you know, and then he was just like a couple of times. He was like that, you know what I mean? Mm. And it's just like, I was looking at him and I was thinking, man, that guy is like really going through something mm. right now. Right. Mm-hmm. It's going through something right now. And rightfully so, like, there's a lot to be worried about right now in the <laughs> sure. world, right? And yeah. so I can I understood, like, why he would, you know, I don't know the specifics, but, and so I'm like, I should go, like, I should go to, like, I felt compelled, like, I want, I should go talk to this guy, mm-hmm. right? But I also knew that I needed to go get this rice mm. because my wife has knives, mm-hmm. Right and swords, and so, so like I was like, okay, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get this rice first, and I'll, but I had to come back that way anyway. So I was like, if he's still there, I'm gonna talk to him, right? Yeah. And so like I'm not sure what happened, but you never do know. Like and yeah. and so like, man, he could have gone and he could have killed himself, right? Mm-hmm. You, I, who knows, yeah. right? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, hopefully not. But you know, something as small as just reaching out to somebody yeah. and saying you know hey how are you because everybody's yeah. going to put on that face for you anyways oh man i'm fine what are you talking about right. you know but if you do that if more people did that yeah right man you could really help out a lot more people and it's just you know something simple hey let me like yeah. you're talking about let me get your let me get your bags for you yeah. or you know how are you doing today mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just having somebody to even talk to and connect mm-hmm. with because that's something that you know, is mi- I think is missing in society. Like, there's not enough of that, uh, you know, human connection. Mm. There's so much social media. There's so much all this stuff that keeps us disconnected mm-hmm. that we're missing. There's actually, there was a, I forget, I was reading this deal where, like, uh, human contact is something that, like, uh, is is there's a percentage there there's like a chart and but like there's uh it was basically it was saying that like that human connection is like down so much and like there's um there's there's a longing for it in society like people long because we're human beings right we we touch and we feel and we hug and and there's that connection Mm -hmm. between human beings and uh there's a there's huge disconnect oh, in yeah. that right now and oh, yeah. and like and so in a lot of ways I know and I and I see it all the time man like people come in in my gym and they get like from that it like it 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 it's it's a it's a therapy just mm. from able to be able to connect and to touch and mm-hmm. to to hang out with people mm-hmm. right and mm-hmm. because you know Joe Joe Schmo banker executive guy you know Mm -hmm. lives prestigious lifestyle and Mm -hmm. that's missing from his life right Right. he's got everything he needs though like he's got the big house and the fancy cars but the human connection is gone and so like he's not happy and but something as simple as a hug or or, you know asking somebody how they're doing and and just kind of trying to be uh (coughs) connected to a person in a positive way mm. like man it's amazing how much that will help and how much that would like could help you know cure some of oh. society's problems you oh. know yes or even society's mental health if yes. you will you know oh, it's just to some degree you it's know? the amount of encouragement needed to encourage people to get people like oh i'm good right. it's so minuscule it's unbelievable jordan peterson talks it takes, about that takes takes no effort right yeah. takes no effort for us to do that and yet huh. we're so uh I'm busy. I got I got to check out. Self check out. I don't want to talk to nobody. Guilty. Oh, that's my you know, jam. You know bro. what I mean though? But yeah, like, I get it. I get you it. You know, yeah. I got to do the same thing, but it's like TJ was talking about this on the podcast last podcast. He's like, when I'm in society, when I'm out there, like I make an effort to like introduce myself. To, mm-hmm. to, hey, how are you? I'm my name is TJ. I'm like, how simple when you learn a language. Yep. The first thing that you learn is hello, my name is. Right. And I was thinking, like, how often have I used that line in my own language? I don't think I have used it very much at all. Hello, my name is Colton. You know, like, just to be cordial. Now I've given myself a name. Now now I'm going to learn your name. Now we're not strangers. That's now you're Dave, like, I'm That's Colton. one of the things, like, I really 
appreciate about that guy. Like he oh, is absolutely. one of those people that I I consider to be in my circle, my no small doubt. circle of friends, and I'm honored to have him there. You yeah. know what I mean? Because like I've learned a lot from him. Like yeah. so, you know, just you know, uh, one uh, one little uh, deal. Uh, he had a fight in Washington. I was I was able to go with him, right? And so. We were there, and we were we were going to like the grocery store or something. Anyways, we um we we were at the gas. We we were coming out of the grocery store. There was a lady in her car. She had kids, mm. and she was like, "Oh, can I have money for gas? I'm mm. stranded here." And then so I was like. Oh man, like we need to help this lady out. Mm -hmm. And Jerry was there too, Jerry Walker, and he was like, Yeah, let's go help this person out, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we went to the gas station and we're talking to the attendant. We're like, Hey, uh, you know, I think we were going to buy a gas can. She didn't even have a gas can, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. we're going to buy a bad gas can. And then he's like, Hey, are you guys going to buy? Are you guys going to buy for that lady out there, you know? And they were like, Yeah, yeah, she's stranded. She's got a bunch of kids, you know? Mm -hmm. And he goes, uh, oh, no, she's a sham. She's been there all day. She's been trying mm. to scam people's money out. And, like, right away, you know, we're like, mm, yeah, we're not going to, you know, because she's right. trying to scam us, right? Yeah. She's trying to take, you know, so why would we help her? We, we now know what she's doing, right? Right. And then, uh, so we, we, we went back out. We passed her. And TJ gave her some money, right? He's still... He gave her some money, knowing that, right? And uh, and then I think Jerry was like, "Hey, why did you do that? Like, what? You know, we she's scamming people." Yeah. And uh, he goes, "Because because it doesn't matter what she's doing, right? Mm. God looks into my heart and He sees my intention, what I was doing. It doesn't matter what she, her intentions are, it's what my intentions are." And so, like, I've always kind of held on to that. Like, that's been mm. like this little kind of little guiding light in a lot of things that I do. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. As long as I'm always trying to do the right thing. Mm. And if and if you're doing that with all your relationships in your life, man, how great of a life are you going to have, mm -hmm. right? Are you ever going to have enemies? Probably not. Like, people are going <laughs> to always tough. like you, mm -hmm. you know? And so, yeah, just one of those, uh, you know, things... Mm -hmm. Man, it's, it's, you get you get so many opportunities mm. like that too. Like that was an opportunity, right, for me. And I could have looked at it and and just been like discarded it all together, not even really thought about it mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. But like I held on to it because I saw the value mm. in it, you know. And so and we all get those. We all get those little life lesson moments, those little aha moments mm. or light bulb moments, you know. And and w once you see them and you realize them and you accept them and you analyze them and you bring them into your life and you hold on to them and, and you know, those mm. are the things that refine you and make mm -hmm. you make you better, right? And oh, you can yeah. either choose to do that or you could just keep on trying to be, you know, that 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 person is just all into himself and right. trying to climb to the top of the corporate ladder and yeah. and 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 get your big house and your fancy cars and but like how did you really help right. anyone when or how many people did you hurt along the way mm. you know it's like why would you want to be hanging around with that guy you know yeah. that guy you sucks usually don't you know <laughs> unless he buys me a car you right yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can help me bro <laughs> but nah i get what you're saying you know yeah. missing out on the on the point of life like we were yep talking before the podcast it's like on your deathbed, you can be worrying about your material possessions. Yep. No, I, w I want my wife there. I want I want to see her, talk to her, hear her voice, anything, touch, touch. Like just the sometimes like we're just holding hands, and I'm like, wow, right? This is like the best thing. And holding hands. Yeah. What does that cost? Yeah. What does that? In the grand scheme of the infinite universe and the 14 trillion years that we've been here, like that's like that's the secret to life yeah you know one, of, one to, of the secrets the, yeah, or a hug right, you yeah. know when you hug yep. me i was like damn i haven't had a hug for a while man and you're such a good <laughs> hugger too like i always say you're the best <laughs> hugger ever because like I've when you go in dude like you there's conviction mm. you know what i mean and mm -hmm. i appreciate that like in yeah. anything you do like i know i'm gonna get quality right yeah. 
Same thing with the well, thank hug. You. you. I appreciate it. You go in there and. Well, I got hugged one time. Like I can remember the hug, <laughs> and it was the hug. It was like a. The hug that going changed a, the way you viewed yeah, hugs, right? It was, dude. It was like <laughs> kind of a little bit too long for comfort. Yeah. So I noticed it, and I was like kind of pulling back. But then I noticed like the intention in it, and I was mm-hmm. like, wow, I really like this. So then from right. then on, I'm like, I want to pass this along to everybody else. Another good one is left, left side hugs, heart to heart. Oh, a yeah. friend taught me that. Yeah, and it's kind of you kind of give have to give a heads up because we're so – right right-handed we're so uh, as a society we always do that way but if you do heart to heart it's kind of a there's a connection there's a connection yeah right? you feel it like so we like we like those connections with other well men. as you said <laughs> we are, no it's true yeah. uh we do not have we are lacking connection why why do you think porn usage is like skyrocketing or young people do not go on dates anymore or um, if friends are over you, I don't know, you, maybe right. you've seen this with your children, like, are they on their phones with their group of oh, friends? Yeah. I am, you know, yep, yep, yep. sadly. And it's like, where is the connection coming from? I'm gonna send you a text message. Right. It's a great piece of technology. It works very well to get information from point A to B, but it robs us a lot too. Right. It robs us of yep. our connection. Like yep. a lot of times, I speak highly of my marriage. My wife and I are in bed holding hands, watching Tiger King or whatever. How many times though have we been in the same bed and right scrolling for hours? Hey, look right. at this. Ha. Ah. Yeah. And I'm like I think about the amount of time I've been staring into this little device versus looking at my wife at right. her 27 years old. Like how how she's not always going to be th- in this form, you know, like right. in this moment things are going to change. We're going to get older, you know, who knows? Maybe she won't be with me. Right. And I I'll have a stupid phone for the rest of my life, you know, right. probably. So it's that once again, perception of like, what are you, what are you spending your, it's not really how you spend your time. It's how you spend your, your focus. Like, mm-hmm. what do you focus on? Cause time's going. Yep. So you could sit there and you could, if you focus on jujitsu, you're going to get really good. You're going to get good at jujitsu. Yep. If you focus on TV, well, you're going to watch a lot of TV. Yep. You know, and that is also your mind, what you think about. What are you thinking about? You, th- you think about good things, you think about bad things. Right. You thinking positive, you thinking negative. And like, you're in control of that, you know what you I mean? Are. You're in control of that. Absolutely. And, man, it's uh, It's the fight club scene. Yeah, yeah. I have the gun. That's the that's one of the greatest right. scenes ever. And, he, and then it cuts back to Brad Pitt and who had the gun just a second ago and he goes and he's like, I have the gun. And then Tyler or er, I guess it's just the narrator. He's, and right. then he realizes he's the one that's in control. Like that's where you as a person need to get, or all of us. It's like you're in control. Like this bad negativity that's hitting you, like quit hitting yourself. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, I can control this, you know. Yep, yep, yep. It's pretty amazing, you know, if you look at it. Uh, man, and it's – we're we're – we're capable of so much, right? We're yeah. human beings are capable of so much. And, and man, it's, uh, you know, like back when, when, when I was in grade school, like they had these commercials on, mm. it was like, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Mm. I don't know if you remember that yeah. whole deal. Yeah. And, uh, you're like, well, what are you talking about? You know, you're just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're just, man, that's whatever. Stupid. Right. But right. man, it's, it, it's so true because yeah. like every person on this earth has something to give yeah. and it could be like, it could be a positive something or it could be a negative something, mm-hmm. right? Cause everybody's like, we're all different, but we're all the same and we all yeah. like want the yeah. same things for the most part. And, and it's like, why would we let any of those, uh, any, like any one person, mm. uh, go right as far as like their their mentality or mm-hmm. their you know i mean like why would why wouldn't you want to like why wouldn't why wouldn't you want everyone to be the best they could be at whatever mm-hmm. because you know then then you're better for it you're mm-hmm. you're you're better like so the concept one of the concepts in jujitsu is like okay so one time i was training and one of the one of my students at the time was like, "Hey, blah blah blah, you're uh, you're good or whatever or something like that," and and I go, "Well, 
I want everybody to be good. Mm. And I, and then and then I went further and I was like, I want everybody to be better than me. Mm. And he was like, what? Why would you want other people to be better than you? I said, because if they're better than me, it forces me to mm. have to become better as well. Mm. Right. So like like if I hold any if I hold things back from people. I'm not doing myself a favor mm. because they're not living up to their fullest potential. And if they're not living up to their fullest potential, it's limiting me. Mm. So why wouldn't I want to build these other people up into the best that they can be and give them my absolute best because that's going to benefit me, mm-hmm. right? And the other mentality is like, oh, hold everything for yourself because you got to be the head honcho. Mm. You got to be the king of the walk, you know? And yeah. It's like, but that's the wrong mentality. That's yeah. like... That's bad leadership, right? Right. Yeah. And man, uh, that was like that was another, and I knew that like going when I was talking to him about it, but it was also one of those things that really made me realize that what what are what what is what is important? Like mm. what really is important? Mm. I got to build up these people, right? You, you have to like because it's the best thing for you, mm. right? Like mm-hmm. if we if we I might not be the best at it, but somebody else is and get them to build this person up. Yeah, right? right. Yeah. You know? And so if you're if you're always thinking that way, then everyone around you is getting better. Yeah. And it's gonna force you yeah. to become better. And so why wouldn't we want to do that? I and mean, we you could do that with, with anything. Oh yeah. I'm jiu jitsu is yeah. my vehicle and I drive it all the time. And yeah. It's pretty cool. It makes me think. If like if I was and I've felt that too with things like teaching people video or something, right? Where I'm like, man, this is kind of a secret of mine, and if I teach them, they might. But I think what it is is it's fear. It's my fear that what what I have in my little worldview is that I'm really good, and to get better, I'm going to have to acknowledge some things. Like I'm going to have to push myself into a whole new mindset and a whole new world. How did how did you get? become good somebody, somebody helps you along exactly the way too, right and then you get those <clears throat> well, that, skills and that's why those youtube players are so popular because they're sharing all this i mean industry secrets that are like that's how you make a million dollars a year is by that little thing that you just told us for free right. and you didn't just tell me you told 10 million people right but the whole industry gets better for it. So right. we all know how to do this in it's, the video world or whatever it's, it is. It's sharpening the sword. Right. right? You're the the more people that are good at any one thing, it's forcing everybody to become better at that thing. And, mm-hmm. then, and then you know, you're like you can either take it two ways. Yeah. You know, you're like, Man, everybody's becoming really good and I was only yeah. like mediocre at the time and so yeah. like you know, just like MMA. Like yeah. twenty years ago, whatever, you know, twenty five years ago. You know, people could get away with certain things right. because the overall uh, ability of people, like yeah. it was some were athletic, like there was wrestling and stuff, and they had yeah. these specific skills, and that helped them get so far. And you know, they became champions, whatever. Yeah. But nowadays, like because of the talent that's out there, and the knowledge that's out there, and the the trainers and the the facilities, dude. You better be on the top of your game and you better be with the best people, yes. right? If you're going to excel yes. in that sport. Right. And so, but that's what you want. Like you want to put yourself in those positions because like if, if they had kept doing the things that the way they were doing it, yeah. we wouldn't have the caliber right. of a fighter that we have today, right? Today yeah. we have, man, so people, those guys oh, are like... Man monsters you know they're 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 machines why do we have such why do we have because i can feel it right now it's like i think about my industry like 10 years ago we had there was like a couple good tv shows or maybe even a little bit more than 10 years like there's some good tv shows every once in a while like a really good movie comes out dude now every tv show is like a home run the caliber is set so high but there's a part of me that's like I wish it wasn't. Right. I think it's probably laziness, huh? Because I kind of want it to be easy. Like, yeah, I could accept if yep. everyone sucks, I'll excel. We want, we want, uh, <laughs> we want for 
those industries to excel because like you see right. all the positive things that come from it right but then on the other side of the the coin you're like man if i want to be in that industry now like now i, I gotta, gotta really step up my game or i gotta like really is. commit myself and i think that's what it is i think that's what it is like in yeah. our mind we're like man we it's, would kind of rather have it the easier route, yeah you know? it's gonna demand now it demands this much i thought yeah. i was only gonna have to do this much now it's like nope i gotta do this much like fighting like right if i'm gonna fight whatever his name is israel Remember, you know him? Yeah, What's yeah. That? I, I can't. The uh, Avatar, oh, Airbender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His name. My favorite fighter, right now. Um, <laughs> if I was gonna fight him, like I can't be. I can't have a garden. I can't be worrying about a garden. You know, I can't. Right. I probably can't even do my own laundry because I'm gonna be doing gym twenty four, like literally twenty four seven. You have to to, yep. to be able to compete because yep. he is such at a the high, highest level, right? right? And so just like level. with anything, just like making your videos or. Yeah. Or making the coffee and like there are people out there that are um elite right uh-huh. they're the elite in those fields and you know you can you can try to imitate that and become right. that or you know you just have to yeah. move on with your life and know that you're only going to be so good at, at any one thing right yes yeah. i know you do all sorts of things and you're you're good at a lot at all of them you know yeah. as far as i can tell like you you put your best into all those things but still even then like there's somebody out there that's better you know like, oh yeah just oh yeah like with anything you do you know and so many people are man you're like really you know whatever and i'm like dude you have no idea you, like uh, you have uh, no uh, idea <laughs> that yeah. you know what's out there yeah. you know and so but those things are good for us. Like yeah. they, they force us to be real with ourselves a hundred percent, right? We can lie to ourselves. I can lie to myself and be like, man, I'm the best, man. Yeah. You know, but yeah. there's no way, you know? And so yeah. you have to be real with yourself. You yeah. got to keep it a hundred percent real. And why wouldn't yeah. you with yourself, right? right. Because right. you're with yourself all the time and you yeah. got to live with yourself, yeah. you know, you got to be yeah. in here yeah. all the time. And so why wouldn't you try to make that experience the most pleasant and yeah. most, you know, that you can. So I came across a great quote this past week. I don't know who said it. I don't know if anyone, it might not even be like an original quote, but it was like, you can do anything, but you can't do everything. Right. No, like, yeah. Oh God. That's dang. Good. Cause you know, like if you're going to be the best, jiu-jitsu person in the world you can't really do a lot of other things because you're so dedicated because you know how deep the world goes what happens when you come against a clean type guy that guy scares the shit out of me that's funny you say that this one uh (laughs) paul the mayow brothers right they're Uh they're 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 a little older now but they're they were on are still like Mm -hmm. top notch top grade level black belts right Mm -hmm. and anyways won everything and uh, are like still winning everything they're like probably pushing 30 now but anyways they were like uh had an interview one time with one of them Mm -hmm. and uh these guys have been like uh there there's like a a disposition Mm -hmm. almost because they're so uh they're so like uh what do you call it uh where you're just like completely involved in something consumed consumed or, they're yeah. so consumed right by jujitsu that's like it's like a, almost a medical disposition oh right? yeah a psychological yeah. disposition right anyways uh they this interview they're like so uh do you have any other like hobbies or anything you know and then they push the mic over to him and he's like no nope. yeah like that's all he does. Yeah. You, but you know, like that's what it takes is somebody to have that type yeah. of focus almost to become the best, right? The best in the Absolutely. world. Because makes me think of that guy raised the bar. Yeah. Yep. Can't even read. Yep. I can't write. That's that right. 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 Yeah, I can't read. Yep. He doesn't need to. Nope. <laughs> you know, like that's how deep that dude is into into boxing. It's he's always like done. he ne- it's neglected he does. reading. Something that to me is like a life skill. And he's right. like, nope. I all I do is my thing my skill that's it and that's why he's undefeated or yeah, you know at the yeah. level that he is yep, yep. yeah it's pretty amazing you know it's pretty amazing when you see that out there in the world and it's just it's like i said it's a positive thing because it forces right. us all to be better and if if anything right mm-hmm. it forces us to be real with ourselves because it's like okay you see that and you can lie to yeah. yourself be like man i could beat mayweather right <laughs> you can lie to yourself all the time yeah. and, you know and, s- and say those sorts of things mm-hmm. 
but the reality is, is you're probably not going to beat them, you know, and mm-hmm. and it forces you to acknowledge that, you know, right. and just be real with yourself. Why yeah. wouldn't you want to be, you know? Right. Yeah, it's just going to be better for you. It's going to be better for your whole, every, everyone around you. Yep. Like if you had, if you were around, especially like a family member or a friend that was like, that was delusional, like that having lying to yourself is delusional. Like you're, you're telling yourself a false reality for whatever it is. Could be big, could be small, but you're off that much is still pretty dangerous. It could be pretty dangerous. Right. A good mentor or my, the biggest mentor I've had, uh, when I was younger and I was trying to figure out kind of like what path to take, well, should I, I thought about maybe being a doctor like my dad, you know, I, was, I thought about, you know, I wanted to do the video thing. Like have all these, th- I had all these choices and he's like, well, think about it like this. Like you're in a mall and you have a credit card and there's all these stores that are open. The mall's huge. And your credit card has, you know, X amount of money on it. And you start walking through the mall and the mall closes in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And every minute that passes, your credit card loses money. And so you can, you can look at all the things you could buy. You could buy all, you could buy all kinds of things, but you can't buy everything. And after a while, if you don't make a decision pretty quick, there's things that you just can't buy. So I always thought about like athletics. Like if you didn't. Like if you're gonna be an NFL person, right. like that's a young man's thing. Mm-hmm. You have to like choose that quickly. You can't be like 45 and like I'm that's gonna a good go. Good analogy. I'm gonna use that with my daughter. Bro, it's great. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. if you get to that's the good. end of it and you don't buy anything, not only did you lose your money, the mall's closed. Yeah, your life's over. Yeah, time. If you choose it quickly, you purchase something, then you kind of, then you might have to deal with. Well, I could have bought that over there. Mm-hmm. That looks nice. You know, but you've already purchased this thing. So basically it's like, man, make a decision, make it quickly, make it strongly and stay firm with it. Or you can like, uh, you know, spread out that money on 15 different stores and really not acquire anything. Yeah. Lots of little trinkets. You get a lot of little bullshit. Instead of kind of focusing on one, you know, and that that could excel or, you know. Right catapult your life i yeah. guess you know? right you could buy 15 rubber bouncy balls yeah <laughs> okay or you could buy one nice <laughs> blender i don't know something yeah. that would yeah. be useful and you could take with you in something your life or whatever valuable Huge, of real value yeah. of real value so yeah. an item that is worth of real value yeah, yeah that that was a very very profound allegory or yeah. metaphor whatever you want to call like it. it yeah i like it yeah. i'm gonna use it yeah, I'm you gonna should. Use it. Yeah, you can. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Appreciate that. No, it's because so many times for me specifically, like making decisions. And I don't know if you had this problem. Like you make a decision on your life, and then every other decision that you could have made comes up, and they're like, "What about me? Look at look at all the good stuff that I have over here." Yeah, you know, and you're like, yeah. "That's true. That's true." But if you stick with that, pos- like for jujitsu again. You start training and you're like, oh, okay, I got my whatever belt. I'm good. I've got pretty much down or whatever, but this looks cool over here. And then you go over there and right. you start training something else or I don't know. That might be helpful actually. Right. But since you've made the decision and you've pushed through and you continue to drop into levels that you didn't even know were levels to begin with, then you come out with your black belt, you know, sure. it's like you are like it's very, very high level. Wouldn't have made it. If you would have altered your decision right. somewhere, if I would along have focused way. on like sixteen different things, yes, I, that maybe wouldn't have been a possibility for me. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Unless you didn't sleep, I guess. Yeah, you gotta sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, it's and you know, just like with anything else, that's uh, that's part of it. It's mm-hmm. all about what you want, you know, like what what you want out of life, you know, and. Mm-hmm. and how you the decisions you make mm-hmm. ultimately affect that and so like if if there's something that's important to you mm-hmm. like you'll you'll fight for it you know what i mean and you'll you'll do the things necessary to to you know get whatever that is and and you know that's what uh that's what forces us to be better you know it's what mm-hmm. forces us to be a better person is like that fight mm-hmm. in us to uh, acquire the skill or the thing that uh, that's of real value to us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. so, like, if you always have that that mindset, like, you know, uh, 
this is a, a pretty huge obstacle, mm. you know, and uh, it's going to be really hard to achieve whatever or get that. But I know it's possible, mm. and I always believe it's possible. Mm. And if long as you always, if you always keep like on the path, whatever, like you can achieve anything, right? You can, we can, as as people, we could achieve anything, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you just gotta put your mind to it, you know. Mm. It's like, you know, as you know, tacky as that is, or whatever, you know. But it's it's true. Like yeah. it's like you you can, and and it's just one of those things that. As humans, we, we we really have that ability if we apply ourselves mm. to almost anything. But you got to see the value in it. You got to have that discipline. Mm-hmm. You got to keep your composure mm. through the hard and rough times. And and then if you're willing to do those things, no matter what it is, mm-hmm. then you've you've earned mm-hmm. whatever yeah. you want or whatever you were trying to achieve. You right. Know? It, it is like a trite thing to say, like you can achieve anything, yeah. but like if you really think about it, like, and kind of focus in on it, you're like, Oh, wow. Like we can, we can achieve anything. Yeah, and a lot of people like, uh, yeah. man, uh, some people just don't get that. You know what I mean? Like some people yeah. don't get that message till later in life. And mm-hmm. like, it's good to know that at any point in your life, but like, mm-hmm. you know, how many, uh, what, what, uh, how much more good in society would we do if we really helped everyone truly believe in themselves, mm. right? How many people, like, uh, you know, suffer from all these uh, different depression, anxiety, all these different things because of their life and because of the people around them, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? The people that, you know, there's um, my mom, bless her soul, uh, you know, there's a lot of lessons there, and and so one of the one of the things that I kind of that that comes to mind as far as something that I learned from her, uh, Hispanics are real like they're pretty negative people, right? They're I joke with some buddies of mine at work that they're kind of crab like, you know, like one is one is trying to get out of the pot and they want to pull them back down. Like mm-hmm. that's kind of a, a little bit of the mentality in 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 some aspects, right? Mm-hmm. So my brother at one point, like he w- we were kids and like I don't know, twelve, thirteen, or whatever, and uh, we were in and out of different schools and stuff. And uh, so he was talking. We kind of all got together at one time, and he was talking about uh, oh, I forget what it was. It was like a percentage or a decimal point or something like that. Some it was a math something okay. to do with math, you know. And then my mom was like, he was started talking about it, and then she goes, "Do you even, do you even know what that is?" Like, kind of looking all like, he doesn't even know. Mm. Like, I already know he doesn't know, mm. but I'm gonna I'm gonna put him on the spot. I'm gonna ask him. Mm. Do you even know what that is? And he knew, right? He knew. And so, like, I'm like, I think back to that, and I'm like, why would you want to be that person? Huh. Like, why would you want to be that person that instead of like building somebody up and encouraging them you're like kind of tearing him down a little mm-hmm. bit you know like that was a that was a method of of kind of tearing him down a little bit right mm-hmm. like cuz if he if he didn't know the answer like you know he could have mm-hmm. been like man i suck mm-hmm. you know like he could, you know what i mean and mm-hmm. so it's like why well, that's one of the things i try to do with my kids and i'm like i always try to um to let them know that they can achieve anything they really truly want to in life, they should do the things that they uh, that they love. They love like that's one of my my messages uh, that I'm trying to drive home with my children is like do what you love, no matter how much money that brings you. Do what you love to mm. do because like. Dude, that's what life's about. Like, life's too short to be worried about, like, what society's feeding you and how much you have to get whatever to get the biggest house. Because we know how that guy that's at the top, like, he's not really happy. Mm. So why would I try to cultivate that into my children, Mm. uh, knowing the result? 
Mm. Right? Money doesn't buy you happiness. Well, you know the right? other one too. You do what you love. Yeah. And you're happy to do it. I, yeah. And so like I can, from personal experience, right. you know what I mean? And so, right. yeah, it's just, it's, you know, we try to, do, we try to, do, we, I'm fortunate that I'm, I was able to kind of make those real, under, realizations and, and, and I can hopefully impart those things to, yeah. to my kids. And of course, it's all about decisions that we all make decisions that we all have, have consequences from those decisions, sure. you know, and, but, uh, we can all just only do our best, right. right? And so, like, if I can, if I can give them just a little bit more than what the previous generation mm-hmm. gave me, and and then, then we're just constantly building and pouring into people, and mm-hmm. like, in in all in, in all of our relationships around us, you know, then uh, then you're really doing something, you right. know. If you're if you're climbing and and dragon and and trying to deceive and and claw your way to the top mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, of whatever mm-hmm. what are you doing so yeah just you know one of those life lessons and and my mom I mean like she was a great person she taught me a lot of positive things as well but that was just one of those little things sure. that i oh yeah i reflect on you yeah. know sometimes and i'm like you know change the cycle right, right. break the cycle sure you yeah. know, do something a little bit better for your children. And of course, my children wouldn't be, you know, <laughs> the most awesome kids that they are if it wasn't for my wife. Like she, sure. you know, she, like I'm like this much of, you know, the influence <laughs> and most of it's not very good. And like she's poured, yeah. you know, she's built and and they're great kids yeah. because of her. Yeah. So. Yeah, you guys, it seems like a good team. And it's reflected in your kid's behavior, you know, and their personalities. Like they're wonderful people already, you know, yeah. and that shows that something right and something good is try. happening. Try, we could, yeah, we could Or just, try, at yeah. least at the attempt, at least the attempt is there. Right. And there's right. some sort of result because they're not running around spray painting the inside <laughs> of the gym or something. They're very, hey, how are you? Hey, you know, like right. they're, they're good kids. So that, already shows results of your attempts you know right so right. when are you guys gonna have kids uh, i'll tell you what after uh, covid19 <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you where i don't tell this to a lot of people but like dude you guys should reproduce like the world needs more of you guys i, I appreciate that right? very much kelsey <laughs> had a hilarious line last night dude we were fold laundry and she's like Man, what a hell of a time not to have kids. And we high-fived. Yeah, <laughs> like, right? Oh, it man. cracked me up. I was like, dude, I mean, I would love to have a little Kelsey running around or, you know, something. I, yeah. I love, like, I have a lot of qualms about having kids, you know, how the world is and sure. all kinds of stuff. But then I look at her and I'm like, I love her so much. The thing that I could do the most is, like, become one with her inside of another human, you know? That would right. be amazing. Um but it just cracked me up. Like, that's thank funny. God we don't have a kid right yeah, now. Yeah. That would, it's already hard enough. Like, I, that's why I think about people with kids right now. Like, I just make sure that I feed myself and that I'm alive and that she's good. And then my family and stuff, like, have a kid? Like, oh, right. man, I would, I would have to, I'd have to step my game up, I guess. <laughs> you know? I'd have to really become responsible. I know. Because you're responsible for a whole other life. I yeah. know. It'd be crazy. <laughs> you were talking about that the other night. Like, we can't even do our freaking laundry let alone like get a kid going. So we were talking about like, oh, well, if we are going to have kids, like here's our, our weaknesses as adults at this moment. Like we kind of need to tighten these up before kids come along because. Right. Like, well, I'll tell you one thing, yeah. man, like uh, you're never going to be ready. Right? Yeah, like you're right, never right. really truly going to be ready. We can uh, do and plan and think and, uh, but man, you're now just, you're just yeah. like, Sometimes you just gotta yeah. go with the flow, yeah. flow with the go. Yeah, you know? flow so. with the go. I like that. <laughs> flow. That needs to be a shirt, bro. I know, right? We should yeah. do that. That's Matt Club. Let's flow with it. the go. Flow with the go. Yeah. As, as I'm editing this, I'm looking at you, Colton. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude, as this whole thing plays out, what are some of the? We'll do two things. We'll do we'll do like training in jujitsu because that's like your ex- expertise and a lot of people rely on you for your expertise as they're by themselves quarantined what can they do to 
maintain their game or at least, or maybe even elevate their game as we're in this like really strange time for jujitsu? Well, so, uh, you know, there's, there are things that I'm doing, right? But, uh, what are you doing? Uh, well, so like jujitsu wise, uh, not really anything, man. Like I'm not like I wish I was that coach that was just all like, yeah, you know, and and you know, but we're all different, and so like I'm 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 taking this for what it, it's actually been pretty good for me because oh, the being forced to take myself out of that situation mm-hmm. has allowed my body to heal a little bit, so it's yeah. actually been pretty good for me. Yeah, um, but. At the same time, like I, I, I do feel that responsibility to need to help and to give, you mm-hmm. know, because like there's there's this little community out mm-hmm. there that's like looking to me in a sense to 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 kind of see where we're going and mm-hmm. to help them. And so, mm-hmm. like there were some things that I was planning before like this this shutdown thing, and so now like those plans have changed, but. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple, some videos, mm-hmm. right? I'm going to be doing some videos and putting some content out there. And, and there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of people right now in the jujitsu community that are putting out content. Mm-hmm. And I've shared that with my mm-hmm. group. And so like, hopefully people are taking that and, and utilizing it, you know, and like there's, it's all about how you look at it, mm-hmm. right? It's like, it can either be a bad thing for you or yeah. you're like, you can, decide to make that because it's all personal responsibility right Right, i tell i tell my guys that all the time you come into the gym uh, i'm not the one responsible for your development right and you and sometimes people look at it the other way it's like no i'm paying you money you need Uh to make me better yeah no you need to come in here Mm. dedicate yourself put in the time right and do the things that you need to do Mm -hmm. i can't make you do that Mm -hmm. right so personal responsibility it applies it applies to this situation as well Mm -hmm. go out get the tools get the things you need uh i'm providing a little bit of support you Mm -hmm. know what i mean but uh we just have to make the best of it there's a lot of things you can do you can uh bike ride you can run Mm -hmm. like all those things are still gonna like help keep you in shape there's nothing there's nothing out there that is gonna replace the exercise um that your body gets while doing jujitsu right. training right training changing chain train changing tra- training partners um for 30 minutes straight yeah five minute rounds mm-hmm. boom 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 right nothing can replace that right. like you're not going to be able to just simulate that at your house right right but um, there are things you can do and there's tools out there to, for you to do it yeah and like i said i'm a support system and I'll help you and you can call me you know my number's in the front of the building everybody's <laughs> got my number <laughs> yeah. call me and uh, I, I could do what I can to help you yeah. and and I would always be there for that or yeah. man it's all it, and it's it's funny because it's it, it runs deeper than just the physical right right it's a mm. it's a mentality as well and so mm. like my number's there if you're having a problem if mm. you you need advice whatever you know mm-hmm. what I mean like because life uh, or jujitsu yeah, yeah yeah man like People come there for jujitsu, right? Mm-hmm. They start coming there for jujitsu, but then they end up coming there because, like, they're actually learning more than jujitsu, and yeah. they're becoming friends with so many more people, and some yeah. maybe didn't have friends, and so like, I can't, I can't wait for that uh, to to get back, right? Yeah. So we can like really uh, reconnect and re uh, continue learning and growing with yeah. each other, you know. But um, yeah, there's always something you can do. It's all about how you. It's about perspective, and yeah. hopefully everybody's you know keeping a positive perspective in these times, yeah. knowing that we will get past this and we'll we'll, we'll be able to uh, convene on those sacred mats where long mm. before we used to do that yes. thing and learn. Did you, have you seen that meme? No. Have you seen that meme? No. Okay, so there's this there's this <laughs> guy right. He's uh, on his floor and he's all he looks looking like a bum, right? <laughs> Holes in his pants and his, you know, and he's like telling his son. He's oh. like son. Back back in the olden days, <laughs> we used to do this thing where we used to convene on these sacred mats and learn this jujitsu. And his wife is in the background saying, "It's only been two weeks." You know? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that, one, dude. that one stuck with me. That was funny. I saw one similar where it was like, it, I don't know how they got this picture, but it's an orangutan, 
and she or he is sitting on the sidewalk and there's like all these birds and they're looking at this orangutan and this like it's it's so weird how they got this picture and it said something like listen young ones or actually it was it was it was otters it's even weirder a bunch yeah, of otters yeah and it goes listen young ones when um when I trained jujitsu, I was a blue belt, which is the fifth highest belt back in the day. <laughs> it was like, it was cracked me up, dude. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah, that's my advice, you know. Uh, like, should we be doing push-ups? Should we be doing shrimps? Like, what are some physical activities that are geared specific? Like, I know you said riding and running, cardio, that's good. I was thinking like shrimps, like um, kind of like our warm-ups. Yeah. Like, we could yeah. do, you could do so, that like, by yourself. Uh, um, myself and uh, Michael Wood, we put out some solo drills. Okay. And uh, he was he's been releasing them every week, and so um, you know, it's a tool. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, they're 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 specific for you know you doing mm -hmm. that by yourself, and they're jujitsu specific as sure. well. So you know, take those things and and uh, you know do do ten of them, right? If you can if you can do ten, yeah, do ten. Next time try to do fifteen, right? Next time try to do twenty, and mm -hmm. just kind of like keep on trying to refine mm. that, you know, until we're we're all let out of jail, you know. But <laughs> and, and yeah. but it's just like one of those things is like, you know, you can do that or you can just uh, you know sit around and so, you know personal responsibility it's all about yeah. how and what you right. want to do but uh there's a lot out there and so as long as you're just keeping a positive mentality about the situation yep. and uh, doing what you need to do to get through and like i said call me mm. i can give you advice i can mm -hmm. help i can do you right. know yeah no one should be no one should hesitate to call anybody or to right. reach out to anybody right. whether it is a jujitsu move or like how did i've been baking bread like how did you start baking bread I can tell you, and it's been pretty therapeutic, just something to focus on and do, yep. Yep. you know, all those things. Have you, are you familiar with the free throw research back in the day? Mm. Um, you might be, I'm not telling you very well. There was this research thing, research project that took a group of people that did free throws. And so they had, they cut it in half, they cut it in thirds. One third actually shot free throws. Like, I don't know an X amount per day. They had to every day. One group didn't do anything. And then another group just thought about it. Like they would, so say I said, uh, say I say you have to do 25 free throws. Like you would have to sit here and think to yourself and shoot one, shoot two, right? Turns out that the group that shot the free throws, like physically shot them, mm -hmm. improved. No, yeah, no, no joke. Right. The group that just thought about shooting free throws improve just as much as the physical oh, yeah, group yeah, right yeah. and the basically i'm condensing a ton of research that the mind doesn't know the difference between actually doing something and seeing it in your mind so what i was thinking is encouraging people to do a move in your mind like you yep. we've done it before so we can we know like where the pressure is and stuff and how it feels to be on bottom or be on top and you can sit there with your mind and like all right i got the grip and i reach up over you know yeah and that's a yep. rep that could be a rep because it's the same neurons firing in your mind right if you were to actually do it is it better than actually doing it i don't think so but it's pretty good yeah yeah so like uh you know videos man mm -hmm. there's so much because the same thing like mm -hmm. you're, you're looking at it, you're, you're and then you're 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 like that's helped me like mm -hmm. that helped me a lot coming up right because I'm over here and there's not a lot around here or there was it mm -hmm. at the time. And so like I had to like be creative or whatever. And so I would watch videos and, and, uh, I would try to see why they were doing what mm. they were doing, try to figure out, you know, uh, and man, I, it, it helped me a lot. Yeah. So like, it's, it's a good thing. It's not, it, it's definitely beneficial for mm -hmm. you to either watch them or to like play out the situation in your mm -hmm. mind and to try to understand why they're doing it. Like that's right. a useful tool. Yeah. And you, we could all be doing that as well. Yeah. 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 Good tip. Good yeah. tip. Yeah. Cause like I said, I, I've done that a lot. Yeah. Right. I still do. And there's, know? like you said, ton of videos. Oh yeah. I mean, endless. Yeah. You, you could be in quarantine for 10 years and not get through all of there them. There are no know? secrets anymore. No, you know? no, Everyone no. Everyone knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but and it's constantly refining better. itself too. Yeah. It's kind of it's evolving. It's yeah. an evolution, you know? So, uh, I saw something where you said you might do private lessons. Are you still thinking about maybe doing that one-on-one? -on so, uh, 
I was going to, yeah. And then they did I, the whole yeah. lockdown. And so, like, I'm kind of, uh, you know, it, it sucks, but my hands are tied in, mm-hmm. in a way. But, yeah, I was going to do uh, free private lessons. You know, I was going to mm-hmm. open up a block of time every evening and, and have, like, you know, five mm-hmm. per day. And I was going right. to just, you, I had on my appointments app, Square mm-hmm. app, I was going to have people just go in there and plug it in. And mm-hmm. then I, we show up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And so... Depend on how things go, uh, but man, it's like, it's been a good, like, it's a good thing. It just all depends on how you look at yeah. anything, right? So it's forced me to, to, to look at those possibilities mm-hmm. and to like, no matter how this goes, like that's there now mm-hmm. and uh, I'm going to keep, I'm going to use it and I'm, and like, I'm going to set, set up times and mm-hmm. like let people have you know people will be have availability uh to that in my time and uh yeah after this is over like i'm gonna give private lessons you know for free for those those people that support me and Mm -hmm. and that support the mat club you know because like it's just one of those things it's like we we hit a wall and Mm -hmm. now we're we're just we're stopped right and you know part of me too is like my bills aren't stopping, you know, like it's yeah. still a real thing and it still like keeps yeah. on coming. But it's also one of those things that, uh, you know, I, I, I see it. Yeah. I understand that that problem is there, but, um, I also know what it is and I know what other people think that it is and, yeah. and know that it is. And so like, I don't worry about it. Like yeah. I know it's going to be fine. Like I know it's going to be there because it's something of value. Right. Mm-hmm. And other people see value in that and they're going to continue to support it. So mm-hmm. like, why would I stress about those things? Right. Mm. I could be that guy that's pulling his hair out right now. Right. Thinking, man, Not this is pulled. the end of the world and I got all these bills piling up and you know, but, or I can just, you know, mm-hmm. analyze the situation, understand what it is and mm-hmm. have faith you know, in, yeah. in, uh, in my guys, in my people that support me, like, like you, man, you've yeah. been a long time supporter of, of the Mac club, you know, we're appreciative for that. It's, yeah. you know, helped us through, through the tough times and, yeah. and, uh, you know, and I know it's because you, you see the value in it and yep. you, you know, you, mm-hmm. you want it to be there, you know, Absolutely. when you come back or Absolutely. when you, when you pick up your training and mm-hmm. whatever, you know, but, mm-hmm. What are you saying? You haven't seen me for a while? (laughs) I haven't seen you in a while. (laughs) After this thing, I'm just saying. (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) No, man, that's why I was really excited for for you to come on for this particular moment. If we didn't have a lockdown, I still would have been super excited. But right now it's very poignant because your mind is very fortified from the things that you've gone through, the, the experiences and the choices that you've made. And... A lot of people look up to you like you're a big leader in our community coach like that's a mm-hmm. that's a position you know a lot coaches change lives we, we yeah. call you coach so it's good for me and I know it's gonna be good for people listening and watching to hear the encouragement that you're giving and the wisdom that you're still sharing even in a very tumultuous time where you know every day is a new day for all of us. Like we're all thinking about the future. What's going to happen? No that, matter how much money you got saved. That up was or, one of the reasons why, like I reached out to you because yeah. like, man, I'm nobody. Right. But if I can, if I can help, uh, somebody through these times with my words, mm-hmm. then I, I, I felt, I feel compelled mm-hmm. to do that. Right. Mm-hmm. And so like, that was my purpose. Like that was the whole reason that I came here mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. And uh, and man, of course, I wanted to spend time with you too, my <laughs> yeah, man. And yeah. coffee was awesome yeah. too. Yeah. But yeah, it's, those are perks. Yeah, a couple of perks, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, get a couple of perks. But yeah, it's you know, it's 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 funny uh, how you look at things after something's been taken away from you. Mm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it's it's just a whole different perspective. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I appreciate it. like. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the people that like have come in over the years to not only learn jujitsu, but like listen to me talk, right? Because 
I literally, I, 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 you know, who am I? Who am I? Like, who am I, right? But uh, I, I just appreciate those that find value in some of the things that I say. And mm -hmm. like, I, you know, I look up to people that are such a higher caliber of a human being than I am. Mm. And like, and I gain from watching them, listening to them, right? Mm -hmm. And so on the same note, I feel compelled because I see what they're doing. I see how they're changing lives and see what they pour into their communities mm -hmm. and what they're doing. And so like, I feel compelled to do the same thing. And it's like an obligation for me to want mm -hmm. to, to do that for the people around me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so like, I'm just grateful to be here. I hope, uh, you know, some of my ramblings fall on, on, uh, your ears with a positive note and you can take something mm. from it and, and, uh, you know, just, just help yourself or even others, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. with my ramblings, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, th this moment particular, there cannot be enough encouragement, you know, right. because today I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. Tomorrow I might not be, right. you know, so it's nice to be able to just for me personally, as I'm thinking, like, I know that in the next couple of weeks as we're locked down and things continue to play out that there's going to be days where I'm a, I know I'm going to be on shaky ground. I'm a human just like everybody else. Right. And, but now I can return to uh, this podcast or I can return to a post of yours or something that gives me encouragement, you know, where it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Remember that conversation you had with Dave? Remember he said, look at things like this. It's how you look at it. You know, it's, it's, it's a, uh, me of a Carl Jung quote. It's, um, it's, um, we are not the things that happen to us. We are who we choose to become. That's right. exactly what's going on. It's like, yeah, here's what's going on. We don't have to, we don't have to accept it. We can become, we can, transcend it and become better people even yes. if it costs yes. us you know they might be scammers it's on you the test is really for you <laughs> yep. the test isn't for her or him yep. it's, it's on you you that's know right. it all goes back to that's that right. yep. so yep. there can't be enough encouragement no matter if it's a podcast or someone going live and saying hey how's everybody doing you know social media <laughs> we, we talk so much trash on it but right now it's like our biggest friend to to stay in touch with each other. You oh, know? I know, man. It's just like a flood. Like uh, that's where everyone's uh, attention is right now. Like mm -hmm. I find myself getting on there, and like I, you can't. Like I feel mm -hmm. like the the network is just so overwhelmed with people mm -hmm. right now on their on their you know their towers and stuff that yeah. uh, it's just yeah. causing delay and lag. And I, I've actually found it to be a good thing because I'm like, ah, I'm trying to see yeah. what's happening here, yep. and like I can't. So I'm like. Yep. Maybe I should just be putting that thing away. You yeah. Know? And so like, it's how you look at it. It's yeah, got all, right. you know, perspective. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, uh, you know, I appreciate you doing this. I know you took time out of your day too, and there's going to be a lot of work after the fact too. And yeah. so it's just like, it's just cool. Like I said before, seeing those that, uh, that rise up and want to help out mm. because really who's benefiting from it. You're, you're benefiting others, you're be yeah. society, you know, right. to whatever capacity. And, and why wouldn't we want to be doing those things? Yep. Yep. I tweeted yesterday. It's just like, what an opportunity that we have. Everybody wants, they talk about this all the time or they did. Everybody wants this great cause to live for. You know, everybody wants this great war or, you know, that's why I think the sixties are so idolized because it was like, you know, down with the man, women's rights and, and segregation. Like there was so much to the Vietnam war. There was like so much to Passion. stand up for yeah. and it gave people's life meaning. Right. And then we've coasted for so long where it's just been plush. And right. now it's like, look, cars are down. This is a trying time. Yeah. What's going to, what, what, what are you going to do? Yep. Here's your opportunity. If yep. you, you are you a hero, it is an Step opportunity. Up. We have a huge opportunity. I saw a meme that said, uh, which just goes to show you how much we are like all on social media too, you know? It's <laughs> how like, many memes have we shared each I other? I know, right? <laughs> it's like, uh, it said, uh, you know, if if you come out of this whole thing and not have like another side hustle or not have another skill mm. or not have a, a whatever, mm -hmm. right? Then the problem wasn't, what was it? 
time it, it was the it was the discipline yeah it was it was right. it was it ultimately lied in 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 you yeah right and so personal responsibility like no. you know you and then you can look at things two different ways it's yeah. like this is a huge problem where it's an opportunity you know right. like in jiu-jitsu the opportunities in the transition mm -hmm. what are we happy what are we having right now it's a mm -hmm. huge transition right it's a transition in a yeah. lot of ways in our yes. lives and so i can look you can look at it as an opportunity yeah or or not because life's really easy it's like you yeah. know yeah. <laughs> we complicate it we complicate oh, bro, it right yeah. that's um oh where was i going with that um time we a lot of us myself included you know, when I was working at the restaurant, I'd be like, man, if I didn't have to go to this job, I could write all my screenplays, you know? Right. And then I quit <laughs> and I just started doing video full time. I'm like, well, shit, they're still not getting written, you know? It wasn't the time, it was my personal discipline. So yep. that's, yep. you yep. know, right now, all these things that we negated because uh, we, we, we had a job or we had a family or we had whatever, it's like, now you got all the time in the world. Right. You could pursue that if you really wanted to. Like you yeah, go, you don't yeah. get to use the excuse of I don't have any time because we're in lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah. unless you're essential, which, you know, there, there are a lot of people still working and whatnot. Right. But there is a lot more time on the table. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I know like I'm, I'm still an essential worker, my day job, you mm -hmm. know, but uh, I... I've got a lot of time yeah. in my evening. So like every, right. like my evenings are... Right. are just wide open now yep. you know and it was just like this complete culture change right but still yeah. uh it's it's been a good thing like it's right. been a positive thing and we should just always look at it like that right you know what i mean yep. there's always there's always uh there's always um opportunity mm. in the transition yep you can either succumb to the transition you know, in a negative way, or mm -hmm. you can find those things that are going to help you uh, work through the problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like so. Jordan Peterson talking about uh, burn off, burn off old self like dead wood. Yep. And he says that it hurts. It yep. hurts to burn off dead wood, but it also clears the way for new growth. Yep. So right now, all this dead wood's being burned off. And right. it's, and I think that's where a lot of the depression and the anxiety comes from is because so much of your identity just went, you know, yep. gone. The yep. people well, that you identified you with. You should, job. like, so like tomorrow, right? If, mm -hmm. if uh, jujitsu is, is completely yeah. out and it's it's done. Illegal. Right? It's, it's <laughs> illegal, right? Uh, you just got to do something else, right? And yeah. it's, it's, it it is what it is. It's yep. like something you worked your whole life for, whatever. And but uh, but Dave is not jujitsu. Exactly. You no. Know? Exactly. You yes do jujitsu mm -hmm. and you're really good at it. But it's not it's not you. It's not who you are. Right. You know. Right. You can and remain. those are the things people need to focus focus mm -hmm. on because like so many things can be taken away from you. Yes. But you're still you. Yeah. Right. It's like and those are just things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. And right. so if you're not thinking on those terms where like you can always reinvent yourself mm. you can always refine yourself in all uh, in all kinds of different aspects in life mm -hmm. then you're not giving yourself like you're uh, you're not giving yourself the credit you deserve mm. right because you're not allowing mentally to uh like it's like a narrow-minded way of thinking mm. you know what i mean like mm -hmm. you're not allowing yourself your full potential mm. if you limit yourself in that way right right yeah, because some places you might not want to look, you know, yeah. some place you might be like, I'm good. You're like, well, what about over there? And you're like, what about over there? You, you know? talking about softball? <laughs> we all know. Everyone knows. Oh, you the 360 guy? <laughs> you the 360? <laughs> That's a cool technique. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I but can show that to you. It's so funny. Such a good <laughs> All right. Well, dude, I really appreciate you taking the time, even though we have a lot of it to spend nowadays. And like you said, dude, I love doing these. I, they're, you know, I got, I got listeners. I don't got Rogan listeners. It's like, not I'm yet. not getting paid or anything. Not yet. Not yet. I just, it's just fun. Yeah. I learned yeah. so much from the people on here. I learned a lot about myself, you know, as I edit this and I hear myself talk and I'm like, okay, I could have said that better or whatever. So I enjoy doing it. And I, I do get a lot of text messages from people saying like, I, uh, I love that guest or, you know, your, your idea on this was cool. So that I love hearing that kind of stuff. 
That's cool. So I appreciate cool. that. But yes, thank you for coming on today. Um, any last words before we kind of wrap this whole thing up for now? Uh, man, just uh, thank you, you know, for for taking time out of your day. Uh, uh, you know, if if you're if you're falling on hard times or whatever is is going on, just remember that uh, you are only able to control the things that you can control, right? And if you always look at life in in those terms, then uh, you're you're gonna be just fine. Like you're gonna be just fine. And so, uh, again. Thank you, um, man. This was a, this was a blast. Like this is my first podcast. I'm glad I was able to do it with yeah, you. Yeah. You know, because like I said, I usually shy away from these sorts of things. But uh, thank you for yeah, helping absolutely. make me better by doing this podcast. So you're very thank welcome. You. You're very thank welcome. You. Yeah, just try to keep it low key. Nice conversation, you know. Yeah. Just try to keep everything relaxed. For I can't sure. nail you with questions or anything. <laughs> But, uh, what do you think of Trump? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, everybody, thank you for listening today. I hope, just like Dave said, you know, stay stay positive, stay encouraged. Who can you help? Go help them, and uh, we'll get through this together. We'll get back. We'll get to. We'll get. We're not going to go to the old normal. We'll get to a new normal. So let's travel together. Let's get there together. So. Once again, thanks for listening. We're gonna get a uh, well. I'll get I'll get who I can get on. You know, lockdown's kind of weird, and you, you do want to remain safe and and abide by the rules and whatnot. But you people want to listen. You want to watch. So I gotta provide the product. So anyway, everybody have a great week. Stay safe. Remain encouraged. Remain positive. Peace.